Hello, everybody. Sorry, timer ran over. <laughs> Let me stop that. What a tease. Uh, how are we this morning? Or this evening? Probably Friday. So happy weekend for a lot of you. But not all. Uh, oh, hold that thought. Welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. A uh, little bit of a surprise one today, although I did refer to it yesterday. Um, we had a really brilliant stream yesterday. It was loads of fun. And this beta is not going for much longer. And then there's going to be a, a cold wait until it releases. So, but also an interesting moment. Uh, we will be able to almost go back and look at a different version. Either way, let's jump through and begin. I'll place a little marker for the voters. Wham. Hello, everybody. Hello, voters. Yoda Franklin. Let's begin. Uh, we're actually picking off from a game that we've slightly started last time. You'll see 65 turns and think, oh, no, I've missed a lot. You haven't. Uh, <laughs> some might actually argue that last time's stream was an entire setup for this one on accident. Uh, if you missed it, I played for a couple of hours after re-rolling about five times. And uh, it was a pretty good game, but I had my backside handed to me uh, by the AI. It was a close fight. We played as the Huns, uh, which was... They were very, very, very good. Uh, they were a lot better than I thought they were. I knew they were good. I thought they were buffed. They're better than I thought. Either way, that's a topic for a different session. Where we ended up was quickly re-rolling and starting the start. So let me just quickly catch you up on what you missed in the first 65 turns. It's not a lot. Uh, basically, I have this peninsula. It's very easy to follow because it's literally just a line of land. <laughs> And then cities perfectly dotted along it. Not at all planned out that way, but it's just the way it happened to be. Uh, we're playing as the Carthaginians, but we've only just started the classical era, so it's still very on. You'll see the calendar is currently at roughly 2500 BCE. Uh, and in the ancient era, we played as the Egyptians. Um, but as you can see, it wasn't actually a very full ancient era. I sort of had to move through relatively quickly. Uh, why, you might ask? Well, two reasons. Firstly, I was stalling. And secondly, the humankind Bolivar Beta AI, which so far I'm very impressed with, uh, has just been all over me. This territory here was actually stolen off of them uh, <laughs> very early on in the game. Very early on in the game. It's reverse Japan. <laughs> Kia ora, Doc. <laughs> Is this New Zealand mirrored, Forex Gamer? Italy without Sicily? Yes. <laughs> These are all brilliant suggestions. These are all brilliant suggestions. <laughs> Am I okay? Well, I'm hopefully going to be. Um, like I say, there's been a little bit of conflict around this area here. Uh, in the early game, I sort of snuck in and took this territory, then lost it, gave it back again. No, no, no. But I think what's probably about to happen uh, <laughs> is maximum pain. Why? Because on the very last turn of yesterday's stream, they declared war. And that's where we're at. You can see that they are in second place, and they're actually all the way through the classical era already. Technically, they could move. Voted no just for the hark of it. I like it, Snag. I like it a lot. So far, people are just in my favor. Just for our prediction uh, on whether I'll win or not. Which reminds me, Twitch, you actually have... A proper predictions feature. So let's get a prediction going for you too. <laughs> the last prediction was a very close vote. Previous predictions will need it. <laughs> These are fantastic. Uh, what I want to know is, will I win? Um, historically, the answer was just no. But 
<laughs> and I'm not also not winning right now. However, uh, I've learned a few lessons. Certainly over the last few streams of having my ass handed to me, I've learned a few lessons. <laughs> so, I've just had war declared on me. We have this peninsula. I have three cities along it. Ideally, I would be at five at the minute. So, as you can see, a little bit behind. We're at the start of our classical era. And as you can see by these fame ratings over on the left, uh, it's actually a fairly close race. A fairly close race across the board, in fact. Reading between the lines, you might even infer that my neighbour has moved through very quickly. Unless the player in first is already in era number three. Uh, either way. This time caught live. Oh, wicked. It's so cool to hear. And there's usually at least someone a day who they've managed to catch me live for the first time. I'm hoping that because I started quite early today, because uh, <laughs> what else would you do at six o'clock on a Saturday morning, uh, that maybe there'll be a few more people like you today too, Snags. You'll think I'll win. Thank you for escaping. <laughs> I appreciate that. Predicted no. Much appreciated. Okay, so I've just had war declared on me. So what we need to do probably is uh, really up our game in all of these cities. At the moment, I'm producing my Egyptian unique unit and the Lighthouse of Alexandria, which could probably stop. Uh, I don't really have any better units than that. 24 combat strength. So I guess I just produce a lot of those. Um, it's a shame we're the Carthaginians and not the Huns again, but that's all right. I really enjoyed pumping out the Hun Accords. Really enjoyed it, actually. Um, so much so that I've decided to turn the direction of this game towards boats, swords, and money, because I think that's probably the three <laughs> the three key yields in this game if you could call a sword a yield i think we want units i think we want boats and i think we want cash cash to keep them propped up because there'll be a running cost to them but also cash to surge them because fending off warfare like this isn't easy particularly when on normal speed i can't just surge out sort of four or five units in a turn yet Ah, yikes. If we lose this, we're, we're dead. So let's just insta-resolve and just get the pain out of the way. Okay. We didn't lose. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> let's heal these units up. Let's go. Mm, have a look on this city to see if it's already struggling. Doesn't appear to be. Uh. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> I refuse your stupid civics. We can't afford 50 bucks, so let's focus on the worldliness and pump that out. Although that is actually a little bit counter to our I need to immediately grow a military to try and defend myself narrative. Oh. Oh, ah. What are you doing here? I think we should take them head on while they're on the low ground. Uh, I've learned my lesson from last time. Yeah, get out of here, punk. <laughs> the famous fighting words from a loser. Um... You know, I really think, actually, that this garrison is a waste of time, too. Let's get... How much is one of these? 400 bucks. No. Let's get a warrior. And actually just another warrior. Maybe if I just treat warriors kind of like Scar. And we'll just produce a few more. Just to have some extra bodies. Because uh, I don't like the look of these immortals. Uh, the chariots and the archers we can take. The immortals, pretty strong. It's a yikes. Um, and I think I'll actually do the same here. We'll get a ranged unit. God, Rubio's Sugarville is a beautiful territory, though. It's got to be said. Um, we'll get a ranged unit. <laughs> and also a warrior here as well. Let's go. 
Go on. And <laughs> pray that we could get enough units here to defend this place. Uh, I may actually even want to move slightly up to this high ground. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Follow me. Uh, okay. Okay. I think there's probably at least 12 units. You <laughs> scared today, I can attest to this. Boat, swords, and dough. Oh, that's a much better title. You've inspired me. It, once a month, it, this happens. <laughs> it's a much better title. Good, good one. Good one, good one, good one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're a little bit behind on the religious game, and thankfully, a lot of good stuff's been left behind. I think we'll, we'll take the. F oh, yeah, we'll take the food. We'll take the food. And we'll be good Christians. Good. Okay, so now our Carthaginian harbors are going to pump out a little bit of extra food for us. And what we probably want to do is clear out some extra space and just shuttle everything and everyone up here. Uh, army wage is actually not altogether super useful for me right now. I'm going to reject that. And <laughs> and actually reject that as well. Let's have a look at wonders and cities instead. Okay, so wonders, we could have the mausoleum of Helicarnassus, but we need to finish the lighthouse first. That's not going to happen right now. So maybe we save up to a thousand influence and try and get a fourth city if we don't end up taking one in this kind of accidental war this way. Which we might, although I see a city with 11 population and I see likely at least 12 units here already. I don't know how this is going to go. Although that... There you go. The Axumites. Farmers with... I've met no the Axumites as well. Be Yoda. wary of crossing me or my subjects. Their okay. welfare is my only passion. A proposal for you. <laughs> Think on it. A very, uh impassioned AI. This will be good Neat. for my people. You know, this is actually going alright. <laughs> this unit might get baited into it being attacked down here though. Um so we'll give it a friend. Lucky you've lucky your friend is so maneuverable. Uh, now, this is actually only a one-tile pass-through because of this wonder. So, I would love that garrison, but it's just a little bit difficult. I think we'll just leave these guys here. Uh, although, actually, they're kind of close enough where maybe we could sneak them out to chop down a tree or two to bring a little bit of extra industry into Thebes. Gone. get as many people on industry as we possibly can uh, to keep converting everything into warriors. Warriors and ranged units and warriors and ranged units and warriors and ranged units. And can I get a couple of boats in here too, please? All right. A sip of coffee is in order. Thank you so much to everybody who's uh, already tuning in. Uh, I know impromptu streams <laughs> with little forewarning. Uh you know, may not necessarily attract as many viewers. Uh, and it's cool to have people here to hang out with today. Do I have a favorite human kind culture synergy? Ah, oh, it's such a difficult question, Snag, but it's a brilliant one as well. Um, I... 
don't. It's the honest answer, I don't. I think you have to keep it flexible. And nimble. However, that being said, I do probably lean towards uh, either going a militarist expansionist game and using those cultures most of the time, or going an industry food game and bouncing those cultures off each other uh, most of the time. The third play, which is kind of the one that I'd like to angle this game towards if I can, is the money play. Hence the units and dough. I think, um, I think I need a lot of units to fight off this AI, and ideally I'd like to build our, our actually almost exactly what Aneru might be uh, hinting towards, a buyout, a buyout strategy. <laughs> we just sort of try and build up a good population base with enough industry to keep the city sort of rolling along doing their infrastructures, and then hopefully make a lot of money and buy a lot of units. We'll see how it goes. Oh, this is tempting for the extra influence. It all sounds well and good until oh. they start worshipping delivery services. Honestly, I appreciate the, the questions. It's nice. It's like humankind is interesting for me to play, but it's also interesting for me to talk about, think about. Um, for loads of different reasons. So, yeah, appreciate the questions. Oh, God, we just, just love each other so much. Stop. <laughs> Okay, so these guys are chopping down this tree, adding some <laughs> extra industry. While they're doing it, though, I can't help but feel that there's a fight here that could swing in my favor. Yeah, I, I like the buyout a lot, too. Uh, so this at the moment is actually really favorable for me, and we don't even have these units here. I think they'll run. Yes. <laughs> they're going to run down this way. They're going to trap them in the corner. And destroy them. We could. Let's have a look. It's too tempting not to. Ah, oh, jeez. Do I want to do this? Ah, oh, do I want to do this? No, I'm a coward. <laughs> I don't. We have to watch the war support, though, because cowardice won't pay uh, overall. However, uh, we're not losing any per turn. They are losing two. One from declaring the war and one from being right next door. So, <laughs> he's a poet and he didn't even know it. So, take that. Um, we can slowly wear them down over time. This could very well be a free boat. So, I'm going to actually jump back and try and grab this. Uh, and then just keep on trucking units up this way. Try and bring everybody together. Uh, ideally chopping some trees, but also getting distracted as I go. Don't want these units to get caught out alone. So we'll try and bring them back to base. <laughs> these guys look to be going in for round two. You want to <laughs> wanna lose again, do you, punk? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just keep producing these 19 combat strength warriors. Why not? They're cheap. They're fast. We can produce them about three for the price of one. Come over here. This is now a, actually a remarkably not favorable fight because those units can't join us. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to take this one. We're currently at 1.43 million builder stars. It's Mized. Kia ora, friend. And thank you for the update. Uh, yes, I think we will make it. Uh, yesterday we were at 1.3 million around this time yesterday, so we are doing about 130,000 a day. Uh, we have six more days to go. Uh, so that's, even conservatively, if we said 100,000 a day, that's 600,000 over six days. Um, at 130,000 we could do it in five days, so yeah, I think we should be on track to not, not super comfortably make it, but probably, um, probably make it through maybe with a day or or so to spare i reckon that would be my prediction oh 
Oh, King of Toto, I do love me a good value video and a good value deal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, uh, no, I haven't seen that though. Thanks for bringing it to my attention. It is often people like you that bring those things to my attention and then um, I just try and amplify them out if they, you know, if there seems like a particularly good sort of number of them at the same time or, or if I think there's something that a lot of viewers will find valuable and that sounds like something that people very well could. You know, at the very least, worthy of a, a like a tweet or a community post or something. Um, often, so that's the humble bundle. Honestly, probably useful for me. <laughs> I there's still I love City Skylines, but there's still DLC for that game that I have not picked up. Oh man, this is a yikes! But I, I'm gonna take it because look at this terrain. I think we can win this. <laughs> Everybody shout a ah! Let's try. Uh, the Immortals are terrifying. Uh, in particular, they're good on high ground and on defense. It's unfortunate that I didn't, wasn't able to deploy out here to block that spawn, because when they flood in this way, it's going to hurt like huck. So, let's try and flood over here and block this, right? These walls actually don't matter too much, I don't think. Um, I mean, they do matter, but not too much. So what I'll do is try and block this crap. <laughs> this many people as I can. And that looks actually to probably be about as good as it can get. Um, these units have already fired. They can move away, though. So we'll do uh, that, I guess. Leave the low ground, hold the high ground. Uh, I don't think I can do too much better than that. Uh, this may be some value in doing that attack, even though it's not favorable. Uh, but actually, hold on, Immortals, Bastion, strong when fighting on high positions, uh, close combat unit receives combat strength when fighting mounted enemies. So actually I should weaken you with my non-mounted enemies. Oh, that was not particularly great. <laughs> probably shouldn't have the horse on the front line. Uh, and in fact, it's probably worth yeeting it away and giving up the high ground. Yep. Okay, this is going to be a little rough. Not a favorable matchup versus the uh, anti-cavalry with our cavalry, but otherwise we're doing all right. Kia ora, Hex, Nesta. Are we winning? Ah! Oh! We're not losing. <laughs> it's not terrible. Although this fight actually is kind of terrible. Uh, and you know what? The real crime actually is that I triggered this and I probably didn't need to. So, pulling the cavalry unit back was a really brilliant idea. Uh, it might actually be so good that I have to do it over here as well. Which is a shame. Oh, but then again, I mean, we don't really have the defenders for this is the problem. So maybe I need... <laughs> What? No, I won't do it again, but oh my god, he did. <laughs> no, shh, no. No. I'm not re rolling. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> okay. Um, no, but seriously, I think that in this situation, uh, it's probably my best bet to really control my fighty impulses. So my impulse to take up, my impulse to go and fight the AI, my impulse to just jump at it and try and take it down, probably not a good idea. Uh, instead, let's focus, <laughs> let's focus on just trying to win this thing. Trying to defend and trying to win this thing. We'll see how it goes. Very good price for a very good game. Yeah, so I'm hearing Hex. <laughs> That's actually uh, why we were talking about it. So look at that. There you go, everybody. Right, uh, so as I was saying, I think that defense is the best offense. 
although fighting those units on the low ground is actually really tempting as I say that. <laughs> say it ain't so. But it is very tempting. I might just hustle down this way and just scare them off. Just a cheeky scare off. Pull these units back towards the city to replace. Make sure there is some ranged power here. We're not all warriors, are we? It's a bit of a standoff. I'm hoping this will be okay. It's not okay again! Will he learn his lesson? Actually, I think this is okay. We're gonna try and choose this one. Because what I can do is stop them from spawning and then use this as a, a wall, effectively, a spawn wall to prevent them from coming through and over there and then kind of just shoot arrows down at them. Uh, they actually probably can't even get up there because of the way that the battle is drawn. So instead, use these double promoting super bad assets uh, and then restrict this choke point to one tile right <laughs> yes these guys sort of up as high as they can not in this world not in this world uh, and just sort of do a little move like that right and then we block this spawn up here so they can't replenish they can't get up this way, so they can't really do a lot. They have to funnel in along the coastline, and when they try and do that, they just lose. Especially if they do a stupid thing like this. <laughs> do not put your horse on a boat. A terrible idea. Uh, and I think I just do that again and again and again. <laughs> That's kind of it. Uh, the ranged units are probably the most annoying part, but I am choosing to focus fire on the immortals and the units in here instead because they're ultimately the greater threat. However, that snipe's actually fairly easy. So why don't I just run over here and uh, quickly put this down. <laughs> These things really are the ancient era tanks. Cool. Okay. That's really great. Nicely done. A little bit of strategy goes a long way in a strategy game. Who would have thought? Uh, not me. <laughs> Bring these units up to reinforce. Chuck that one out into the sea. And... Well... Ah, go on. Up you get. What is that lake? It is a... Lake Natron. And it's providing me, Aaron, with plus five science, plus ten stability, and plus two food per farmers. It's a real shame that we didn't get the Garavantes, because uh, thieves could have been farming like there was no tomorrow if we did. Ah, however, we did not. <laughs> oh, dear. You asked too much. That won't work. Well... I only asked too much. So we've got some units sailing around here in a boat. Neat. <laughs> this is the This is this is not the reinforcement step we ordered, sir! <laughs> it is now. Yeah, I'll just run some dudes along here. I think that's fine. I'll start firing away at this back line too. Pew, 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 pew. And our warriors, maybe not doing a lot, but <laughs> they're providing a, a vital bodily shield uh, and also blocking these spawns. So, hey, everybody has a role to play. Uh, it is, you're right, a pretty weird lake. <laughs> uh, a beautiful lake. 
look at it. Man, that is cool. This wide salt lake attracts countless flamingo, flamingo flocks, even though its harsh waters are deadly to most life. Yeah, seems about right. Pound through with these warriors. I said they were up to no good, but actually they're all right. <laughs> now that is a wonderful defense. 36 war support gained out of that defense. What a time. Holy cow. Uh, let's upgrade into swordsman. That's the vital upgrade for the warriors that I really need. And Welcome. that's looking Let pretty healthy honestly, now. The war support go. balance looking very healthy. the Tanzania from the Tanzania from Tanzania I'm told my correspondence kind of like the Dead Sea a lot of salt uh, that's a lot of salt <laughs> fitting Salt Lake City wow <laughs> neat okay um Do I now push the counter-aggression? Answer could be yes. Either way, I think we'll step up. Whoa, they've got five units. <laughs> they've got five units. And they're the perfect counter to us as well, which is such a shame. So I think we keep on building up the empire. Uh, let's get a, maybe a monumental cross. <laughs> I am monumentally crossed. Let's get a monumental cross down. Uh, Carthage could use the, a little bit of extra stability. There's no super fantastic spot for it, particularly. So I'll just slam it down over there. Go on. And actually, if we get Rubio's Sugarville on top, shout out again to you uh, from yesterday's stream, Rubio. Uh, we can... We can get it done in two turns, which is pretty good for a normal game speed. really good point especially when it's a wonder that you're unfamiliar with right like you, you think what's that really weird like and then you look at it or you read its little blurb and you realize it's probably more impressive than most things you've ever seen uh <laughs> and probably ever will see you know it's just it's it's awe inspiring uh i think and i wouldn't have even known it existed where it was. So thanks, humankind. Thanks, Siv. Thanks, Sid Meier. Thanks, Amplitude. Um, a really great point, actually. Too great for words! Let's merge these units. Probably wasting a little bit of unnecessary cash money. Uh, I'm going to need to save up a lot of money for upgrades to upgrade the warriors. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of unfortunate, really, isn't it? Um, that will provide 14 industry. That's probably one of the better upgrades we could get, right? Like, it's probably better than all of these. Yeah, it is. So... This kind of future, future proofs me a little bit better, but let's let's keep keep building warriors, damn it. <laughs> oh yes, the multicolored hill. I know the one you mean. Yeah. I can never pronounce it. wonder they thought it was divine yeah yeah absolutely yeah the the awe inspiring nature of it you're right you're right you don't just sort of stumble along and you're like oh yeah you know just another starbucks cup just just another 
<laughs> this is really impressive. Really impressive. I'm gonna try and hold this high ground a little bit. Um, but if they if they try and flank along here, I will teach them the same lesson. Oh god, that going to. Okay. Really? What, what is this? I guess maybe they think, yeah, maybe they think we can get around this way. Ha <laughs> ha They won't see this coming. But I do. And I will. Follow me. Uh, can anybody actually trigger this fight this turn, though? Sadly not, because I didn't have oh, anyone yeah. here. Uh, ooh, however... Hold that thought. <laughs> Neat. All right, so we do have somebody who can trigger the fight. We'll leave a unit up here to block this because there could be more through that way. Um, and then we'll see what they want to do down here again. You want to hustle? Nah, you're out. Good for me because extra wall support. I wonder if I send this warrior in as a scout just to have a little look at what's going on through here. That is beautiful. Uh, <laughs> see if we can ruffle a few feathers. Uh, we can actually also get an extra city. So look at this, by the way, for an incredible Carthaginian harbor. Holy cow. Whew. Relocate there and then turn this into a really fantastical... Um, <laughs> ocean city, a sea city, uh, and then we could also probably immediately attach it to this place as well. Boom, there's an expansionist star for you. Neat. Um, I'll buy a pottery workshop so that we can get our influence generation online early, and then the animal barns will provide us with 12 food, and can I get a early industry buff without building a district? Kind of, we get a plus seven. That'll do. <laughs> Look at all the food! Holy cow! Jeez. That is nuts. Well, I don't think that building the Lighthouse of Alexandria is a brilliant idea right now. Um, <laughs> no offense to any Lighthouse of Alexandria fans out there. <laughs> I don't think that's quite right. Um, you know, we, we really need actually some science districts, but ideally I'm building them out that way. So maybe I try and farmers quarter my way there. Kind of do a wee zigzag. Then, uh, yeah, actually that works really well. We'll build this farmers quarter slam everybody at it go 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 in four turns and then try and build our way out and get a few science quarters out this way um and to help the cause a bit i might keep this unit here as a tree chopper and it's nearly time to move through um which probably means we'll start a poll like patron I really want to find more of these wonders. So perhaps we get a <laughs> get a little something actually just moving straight across this way again. I did try and do it a little while ago and then change my mind. Uh, let's also think about who we want to take. So the theme of the run, uh, ideally, we're either going to be making money, boats, or military units. Hopefully a combination of the three. Carthage, pretty useful for that. We saw how fantastic their harbors are um moving forward the franks could be really useful to pick up a little bit of a science shortfall that i have and also a little bit of an influence shortfall that i have um i'm not against that probably not the ganaeans um probably not the teutons Khmer would be a good pick to just keep building up our industry and population base um Perhaps not the English. 
I was talking before about how much fun I had <laughs> with the baby Mongols. However, we don't have a lot of outposts. I think that Swahili advances our goals really well. And I think that the Norse advance our goals really well. We can have a stupidly powerful navy. A reminder, we're building the Lighthouse of Alexandria, which also gives us naval movement speed and combat strength. A funny thing can happen there. And I think like our decision last time between two food cultures, this time I'll choose between Swahili and the Norse. Swahili were in the Cultures of Africa DLC for Humankind. And I think that... I think that probably... Uh, one of the best, if not the best, culture in the game. Fantastic for stability, which we're behind on. Their harbour will make us ludicrously wealthy. It's also a market quarter and a farmer's quarter. Uh, and embarkment is very easy with them. So we do get a little bit of a movement penalty. It's just, uh, sorry, benefit. It's just not quite as obvious or upfront. Then we have the Norsemen. Uh, theirs is very obvious and very upfront. They favour more of a pillage kind of vibe. Uh, as you can see by uh, some of their bonuses, plus 50 money from ransacking. Uh, but they also provide a harbour, and it's a reasonable enough one. So that'll be our decision point. We'll decide between the two. 70% of players think that I can win this game, so I'm going to try and do this in your honour. Swahili and the wonder that shares their trait. Oof. Swahili is the choice, not only for gold and stability, but also for naval warfare superiority. Yeah, th their embarkment is is, uh, like I say, kind of like what the Norse give, anyway. Rumor has it the Bolivar uh, builds larger armies, though. Yeah, and, and I've, I've experienced that anecdotally, for sure. Um, I think you're right. Probably. Swahili is the best bet. Norse are still mediocre. But, you know, for this run, I don't think they're a terrible pick. Which is why... I'm going to make you choose between Swahili, the Norse, and uh, I guess I could throw, if you if you think that they're all a bad idea. Um, no, actually, you know what? I think we really should choose between those two boaties. O only because the uh, merchant cultures don't really benefit me much. Two boaties. <laughs> but who? Far away, friends. Uh, and I can also get the Twitcheroo rolling as well. He's a man of many talents. It's a shame he rarely shows them. You <laughs> Swahili and the Norse. Yep. All right. Let democracy be heard. Vote, you people. <laughs> and welcome to everybody who's just tuning in. I started early today. May have caught some regular viewers off guard. Uh, it's a pleasure to see everybody. Thank you to everybody who's liked the video. I was going to set a, the 100 like target today, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> off day. I don't usually stream. Off time. We'll see how we go. We should go with the strongest option, methinks. I tend to agree. And I actually don't think even that the Khmer would necessarily be in this case. Um... Our lack of rivers maybe makes them a bit worse. Potentially the English would have been alright. I think the Swahili are probably the best bet. We have very powerful harbours through our faith as well. So let's not lose sight of that. Um, thankfully the holy site's sort of helping. I might shift the light. Ah, oh, no, I can't do it. I just cannot. I just can't. Um, okay, 14 industry for Carthage. Yep, that seems okay. We don't really have any way to raise any extra faith. Um, other than to lift our stability. Which could potentially, in a roundabout way, kind of help with that. Uh, I think there's also some value in just shooting some population out of here. But for the time being, we'll leave it as we are. Oh, hey you! New Zealand dollars! <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you so much for the five bucks super chat. Happy long weekend. It is, of course, the Queen's birthday. Uh, not really, but 
Hey, we're celebrating nonetheless. It's Queen's birthday weekend. That's right. <laughs> Happy long weekend to you too. I uh, hope the weather is better than what is forecasted for us up north. The weather is trash. The weather is abs the weather is just trash. <laughs> no, that's not entirely true. It could be worse. The glass is, it's not quite half full, but maybe it's like a quarter full of rain. Am I right? God. Um... So, <laughs> hey, off. Camaro only good without rivers. Yeah. I agree. I think you're bang on the money. Let's take 10 science, because 10 science is actually a lot to a pauper like me. And maybe we could also quickly fundraise some money by um, exchanging a little bit of influence for it. It's kind of a bad deal. Actually, it's quite a good deal. I'll allow it. Ego bibbly boss. <laughs> Thanks very much. If you're a partner, um, and then I'll use that money to perhaps generate more money. Or perhaps just more food. Yeah. Get a bit more food. Uh, incense. Incense does actually just provide flat, flat money boost. So I'll get three of those too. <laughs> Neat. So now uh, all four of our cities are getting an extra 15 bucks. Neat. Uh, Non-aggression pack with the buyer? Absolutely. Bring it in. I have only one enemy <laughs> and they know it. Let's push them a little bit more, speaking of. Kibi used to be the best choice. Yeah. Yeah, Swahili changed the dynamic of it too. What do we see? the cows. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Points well taken. Yeah, I'll fight this again. I think we demonstrated last time that this is powerful. Oh, these guys aren't even deployed. Get out of my life. Try and quickly snipe off their ranged units. <laughs> In fact, there's only one, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, and then I guess just start to weaken that front line. Take it down. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> hey, Pitar. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I agree. Um, I'm really impressed with what they've done so far with humankind. They've done a great job at lifting things up, which is always nice, rather than just pushing things down. It delights. <laughs> yeah, there are a few. There are a few. I mean, they're, they're a militarist. It's a shame they're a militarist in the first era. The lake unintentionally grants comic strength due to its awful place. Yes, yes. Uh, you're absolutely right. It's it's a big wall. It's an impassable wall. It's effectively the Great Wall uh, of China, in fact. Uh, I love the fact that the Norse won. Dr. Kang contributed 3,700 channel points. <laughs> that is the best democracy. <laughs> Go the Twitch poll. And then uh, on the YouTube poll, Swahili, believe it or not, is actually beating that, even that, in a percentage point vote. It's so far 70% of the vote. <laughs> YouTube and Twitch nearly perfectly divided, although uh, t YouTube slightly winning out in its love for Swahili. <laughs> Neat. Okay. You know, I reckon I could almost auto-resolve this and still win, but um, I'll just check a couple of rounds just to make sure. Yeah, the damage is okay. It was an archer hiding back there. Not for much longer, punk. See ya. Try and spread a bit of love across all the units. Uh, I could have saved that guy, but I don't know. Looking the ones at the back a bit too. Punch my way through now, I think. Yeah. 50% Ah, yeah, research bonus. Give it the research bonus treatment. 
That would be a fairly, um... Yeah, I like that. The sa the Roman treatment. <laughs> Give them the Roman treatment, essentially. Chuck them a couple of research bonuses, they'll be right. Oh, I would love a war elephant. That would... That would be nice. I wonder if we are on the same... I doubt that we'd be on the same upgrade pathway as that, but we might. Right, chuck you out to sea. See what you can see, see, see. Uh, this unit's still kind of my scout, so let's just go and have a look. Oh shoot, that was a misclick. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I do want to abandon that siege. There you go, there's five extra war support, courtesy of me misclicking a siege. Neat. But I'm about to take a whole lot more than that away from you. Uh, I guess, actually, there is a small detriment uh, in the new Bolivar version of humankind uh, to losing random warriors like this. Because I am losing a little bit of war support when I lose them. However, you could also <laughs> argue that actually that's a benefit <laughs> if I wanted to, say, prolong a conflict. I think things could improve between... I can live with it. Oh, you brave, brave boy. <laughs> Neat. Thirty two war support, that'll do. There's a military star as well. Quite useful. Wasn't sure I was going to earn a lot of those. Uh, bringing me into third place. Really shy on technology. Really shy on money. <laughs> Might need to ditch that dough aspiration. Um, oh, it is a bit of a yikes. Plus five fortification on all districts. Ah, give them kind of more of a defensive, a defensive buff. I like it. Go, go Norse. <laughs> Doctor Kane. Dr. Train, bringing in the Norse support. <laughs> hey, actually, the YouTube vote is um, flailing a little bit too. I think that's a, <laughs> a slight mistake, but maybe not a, actually, actually not as big of one as you might think. I'm not mad at picking up a militarist. In fact, you know what? It really could swing this in the favor, shouldn't, couldn't it? Um, I think how do I decide between YouTube and Twitch, though? <laughs> Twitch has voted yeah. for one, YouTube has yeah. voted for the other. Please! Yeah. <laughs> Help me decide! <laughs> Alright, I'll end the YouTube poll soon. So there's your- well, I won't just cut it, but I'm ending it soon, so get your votes in. Um, hmm. An alliance with the Aksumite. What is your deal? What do you do? You're at war Greetings. with the Celts, okay, uh, who are in first and you are in last. No, I cannot. Uh, it's a no from me. It's three no's from me. <laughs> okay, let's upgrade this army. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Um... That's a, a really significant boost. A 50% increase, in fact, in the combat strength of our warriors. Whoa. Let's take him through. Let's see what we can do. Through Salt Lake City, baby. We're off. <laughs> Everybody's off. Um, I should have... A comfortable lead on war support must, now. But no, um, I, I absolutely it. do. Let's let's ram this home. Octopus! Yoda! <laughs> Back to the stream in 90 minutes. I should very well still be streaming in 90 minutes, even though we had an early start. Uh, should still be good. Hopefully. See you then. Thanks for following on Twitch too. Elf. <laughs> the 
trail off. Um, <laughs> okay, we'll just bring this unit back. We d we should actually move through to start exploring as well, I suppose. Make some garrisons on the south side of Salt Lake City. Yeah, actually, walling that off would be nice, wouldn't it? But if I can move through and take this city, then all of a sudden it's not my front line. So I'm slightly hesitant to invest in it. Especially if I go through for a push, which I think I can afford, I may not need to. Let's see. Um, and I'm also just going to quickly do a star check and a culture check just to make sure that we don't lose anybody again. We're doing okay. They are maybe falling back. <laughs> also, here's an administrative center that I could just pillage. So let's pillage that. That may force them to come and try and fight me. To try and save it. If I can pillage it, I can take the territory. Without having to use war score or anything like that to achieve my goal. So... There are benefits and drawbacks to it. Your land looks like an inverted Japan or Cuba. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that at the start of the stream. Or perhaps in Italy, uh, that isn't quite kicking a Sicily. Or a very sort of weird looking one. But yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in, Snags. Niggas. Enjoy your rest. Oh, do I want to pillage or shall I just go for greatness? Let's just go for greatness. Ooh. Ooh, the coastline actually uh, providing a very unique opportunity here for me to not only uh, prevent them from fighting me, but also get some really neat ranged shots off if they try and embark. Very good. Let's get behind enemy lines. Weaken the unit back there. Uh, a little worried about a potential flank, but we should be okay. Oh, Franklin, thank you so much for a $5 super chat. That is very kind. Hashtag Nimi Fridge. <laughs> Did you mean mini? I like the... I, I, I suppose. That'll do. Broken Foot Italy. That's exactly it. <laughs> Thank you, Franklin. That is awesome. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I don't know what to do with this unit, really. Just leave it there. <laughs> you just stay there. <laughs> I don't even think we take a lot of incoming damage from these peasants. Uh, looks like they're reinforcing. You can see their combat strength up the top there, just edging its way skyward slightly. Uh, but we should be far enough away that they're not really a threat. Safe enough to just kind of move through. A smooth, fast round, and I think I'll just keep on doing that. Uh, as I start to break, we'll start to push these uh, melee units up to the front line. Uh, they'll also get better visibility. The peasants are going to really suffer. Sorry, peasants. You could have been one of us. <laughs> but instead... Uh, instead... capital is the real prize but this city which was actually initially a city-state um will do <laughs> as my runner-up prize for my hard work it'll do i'm afraid to auto resolve because i'm afraid that it'll sail my units into the sea to try and move around for a flank Otherwise, I would absolutely do it. It's a, a tough geography to break through. 
but we're starting. I'd love to get a foothold there as well. So let's try and take out another peasant and then march our melee unit through. Like so. Good, 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 good. I wonder if we can daisy chain. Not quite. Although it looks like this might have been safer than I gave it credit for. <laughs> I'll give it a go. <laughs> uh, if I miss out, I, I lose one warrior. Not the end of the world. And I'll fire across that. That is a mighty shot, by the way. A mighty shot. <laughs> Woof! Look at that! You are the best marksman, the Empire's ever seen. Um, this is going really well. Happy so far. So far, so good. Anyway. Although, <laughs> come on. Hold the line, you brave boy. Uh, looks like they may have anticipated this move and absolutely blocked it. There's only one little spot where I could get an, a get an attack through there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kill to Pete! The five dollar bandwagon! <laughs> and the crowd goes wild! <laughs> Thank you so much, Pete! Pete Pretorius for a five dollar super chat. Pete says, is this the five dollar bandwagon? Count me in. And then a glorious smiling face. And I'm sending those vibes straight back at you, Pete. Thank you so much. You still need war score to get cities yourself. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Um, it's maybe made s slightly easier by the uh, surrender terms that accompany it. Maybe a little, but yeah, I, I, I can, I see where you're coming from. I'm not going to see where I'm coming from with attacks like this, though, are they? <laughs> Unfortunately, just a little... Oh, no, look at that range. I keep doubting these units and they keep proving me wrong. Unfortunately, it's going to be out of... Nope. Nope, it's still good. Basketball chat. Just going straight over my head. But I appreciate it. <laughs> the Masters of the Warriors. Well, the Warriors of the Masters are breaking other teams down by the third quarter and fending off any offense. Like the All Blacks of basketball. Oh my god, it's too good. <laughs> okay, this has gone very well. Uh, in my favor. We could probably roll it soon and then roll through to the winner of the poll. It's getting closer and closer and closer. Uh, and I've got some cities to name after. So we've got AU, Franklin and Pete. <laughs> okay. Uh, at the moment, I only have one. So, <laughs> the Super Merge. Uh, let me know. Let me know. I, I, any of you and all of you. In honor of the, the, the five... The fivers. <laughs> for now, for now, I'll just name this one in honor of the fivers. You know who you are. Um, craftsmanship provides pretty good upgrades. However, iron is very nice too. So, I could probably squeeze that in a turn. Yep. Uh, and to be fair, starting to upgrade some of these harbors feels juicier and juicier by the minute. Our new city, uh, has well and truly fed itself on all of its food and now it's struggling, but it was kind of free anyway. So could get it working on the lighthouse of Alexandria once it's performing a little bit better. Uh, I don't want to expel all six of its population to get a forge, so I'll just leave it as it is. And... You can start chopping down some of these trees. So neat. Do you view uh, I think I can probably flang this onto it's auto resolve to pretty soon. Dilemma. Just try and give these guys a, a slightly more advantageous head start, <laughs> just in case the AI jumps them into the ocean. You know. <laughs> 
Uh, but I think I'll keep refraining from attacking with my melee units, even though they seem to be doing a very good job now that they're swordsmen, not basic bitch warriors. Yeah, actually. Chuck that on auto. Let's see what happens. Okay, so they run a few away. They should push for the flag, though. Although I suppose it's difficult because they're all just ranged units. However, it was a successful fight. <laughs> uh, cultural blessing is great. They say for a place like this, extra food's nice too. Metals. And here I is a brand new city. Uh, if any one of you would like to name it, please, any one of the fivers, let me know. Self-indulgent names, pun names. <laughs> Just a name after your dog. <laughs> Entirely up to you. Um, because I assume that city's going to stay as mine. So far, so good. We're, however, not in the top three. It's important to note. It's 2% industry. Kind of nice. I'll take it. Pretoria! Oh, octopus. It were obvious. <laughs> it was so obvious. And this one actually is quite Queenstowny. Let's call it Queenstown because it's Queen's birthday weekend as well. Oh, it's the pun. <laughs> Neat. Okay, I'm just gonna keep marching these dudes through. There's no need to pillage that anymore. Although I suspect this war is probably about to this, conclude. I'll we'll take a non-aggression pact with the Greeks because they're our crucial... Oh. <laughs> they are our crucial trading partner. Uh, now more than ever, really. Although they seem to have lost all of their incense, or I don't know what happened to that. Uh, start connecting up a little bit more iron, and realistically, probably some of this basic infrastructure too. Uh, 14 food. That's quite nice. 12 food. 12 money. Uh, all of the industry's a bit garbage. But go on, Pretoria. Get yourself together. <laughs> uh, I've just grabbed a science star. I'm very close to an aesthetic star, so probably next era will move. Uh, Swahilia at 59%, and we've just lost the Norse, which could very well be the deciding factor for me, actually. Hilariously stolen by my very neighbor. Huh. Huh. I want to play a militarist, though. I'm so torn. <laughs> no! <Norse. laughs> no! Swahili with 58% of the 52 voters on YouTube uh, eyeing in its favor. Norse winning... Uh, on Twitch with 68%. Thanks to Dr. Kane! <laughs> but that is the will of democracy. I think my democratic hand may be slightly forced here. Looks like there are a lot of players getting ready to move through too, so I need to monitor it turn by turn. Um, ideally, we would have more, at least more districts if I can get these builder stars done any faster. We could use population to accelerate some of them. Um, we could also look to... Well, we do need those three... Um... Thank you for following, David. Uh, we do need three makers quarters, three science quarters in places as well. Um, but if I just put a district in each place... Pretoria can have one. Rubio's Sugarville is actually ready to start getting some science. Please. Please. There we go. I'm not sure if I will make it to that in time, actually, so we might just have to move through. Let's keep an eye on it. Uh, might want to trade everything. Everything yeah. seems adequate. Agreed. Dyes are actually quite useful. <laughs> Let's hook that up. Uh, plus 10 industry on cities. Pretty nice bonus. Press like if you gangster. <laughs> it's true. I can't argue with that. What are we at, by the way? 
Can I get an update uh, if a kind soul wouldn't mind? What is this? Is this the capital? No. But it's close. The war can now be ended. But will it? <laughs> to demonstrate your customary lack of tact, have you? I refuse. Impossible. The proposal is worse than bad poetry and would last. And now I'll force a surrender on you and I will take what I've earned. Let's take the whole dang thing. Um. Well. Let's actually break them up a bit. <sighs> we could take this one. Oh, although that island would actually be a nice... Yeah, no, let's just take what we've earned. Let's just crack through, take what we've earned, and I force that surrender. So Thank you very great. much. <laughs> Alright, so that's a wonderful indent, and we've stretched our peninsula. 52 big ones, thank you, Octo. <laughs> um, right up through into the heart. Into the heart of our Nova's territory. We're in second still. We should move through. We've, we've likely been narrowed down and kind of forced into taking Swahili at this point. Um... I'm really tempted to just grab them. Just because the rest of these stars are quite far away. Three turns. Ah, I guess I just reload. And let's get out of here. <laughs> we'll quickly build another Cthon here. Look at that. 38 foot. <laughs> Woo! Uh, we should get both of these online, actually. Really help with the food here. Can we get a third? Oh, Shrek, the third we can. Your people Neat. Here. All right, well, That's there's another of sort of incentive to hang around a bit longer then, isn't it? And we're all good to do so. You aren't leaving much of a mark. But until the, <laughs> the narrator we just goes, we aren't leaving much of a mark. <laughs> Yo, you're sus. We accept. We'll buy their two luxuries off them. Let's try and build a little bit of a codependency there. A nice unhealthy codependency, ideally. Um, and hoover up some more of this ebony as well. Providing extra industry on cities. A reminder, we've got some wonderful new cities. We could actually detach this uh, and turn it into a city of its own. Maybe. Hmm. Do I want to do that? I just think that this one is a little full. But, yeah, I want to do that. I want to do that because now I can just buy its harbour as well. So there's a little bit of an extra quarters. benefit. We can grab At these luxuries rate, immediately. The entire city uh, is even relocate it if it's in a bad spot, which it kind of is for me. Oh my god, look, there's even more. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, this was Extreme Makeover, the, <laughs> the Empire Edition. Oh, kia ora, Dwayne. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Hope you are too. Happy Friday. This map will get me demonetized. <laughs> Better not. <sighs> okay. Um. Ooh. If we keep units stationed here, we will get that slight little bit of extra stability out of it too. So, I guess I'll uh, put an extra sword dude there. Bring these units just out of range merge them up, but we'll absolutely keep our forces here because I don't see this fight going away. I see a strong opponent moving through the next eras uh, and potentially taking me down. So, <laughs> float through. Nice and easy does it. Um, ideally, maybe reaching for one of these. I have actually just moved into first place, which is pretty cool.
and tier two of our faith. Neat. Let's get plus five food on harbors. This is brilliant for us because we love harbors. The only other thing actually I could go for is the science catch up. Huh. <laughs> it wasn't me, Octopus. Okay. Um, uh, this is actually quite a difficult decision. I have a lot of harbors. It's a harbory game. Food makes sense. I'll take the food. A tricky one. Uh, land movement could be nice. Extra money could also be nice. However, let's belittle Rubio's sugar fill for unexpected consequences. <laughs> Uh, just about to run out of technologies. We could also use, definitely use this ability again, actually. Um, the payout, not great. A little better over there, though, so I'll do that. Uh, I'd also like to turn this into a city, maybe, if we can save up for it. The English have been taken. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. We'll grab this gold star and then we'll move. That is the plan. Which probably means station done. <laughs> the infamous like famine. <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. The the algorithm is a fickle boss Let's and a cruel talk. mistress. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, let's trade everything. That's a very good idea. Agreed. It actually it is a very good idea. That day. wasn't sarcasm. You should good. always trade everything. Want to put the luxuries online in the new cities? Um, I'm building my unique harbors first because I'm about to move through to the next era. And I want to get all of those built. However, now, actually, now that there's a little bit of industry in this one at least, you're right, I can. So I shall. Good call. Hmm. I think also maybe a holy site. Uh, I know we really needs it for stability. to Salt Lake City. Try and push some extra religious pressure. <laughs> I'll cram it up here to the north. It'll be a, a nice little secluded one. <laughs> Go and hide away in the forest and do your little uh, monumental crossing. Hmm. Most of these infrastructures are fairly garbage. It's got to be easy. But we do kind of need them to build up to better things. Likewise, down here. Nice little science quarter, actually, that I might squeeze out first. And another one there. That'll give me three, which is quite important. Um, and so then to balance that out, we'll go back over here and just be like, hey, actually, uh, you can do it instead. Neat. We may have shared interests. Open borders with uh, the Ox who might score on. <laughs> go on, then. There's my gold star. Let's jump through and take Swahili. Sorry, Norse. I owe you. I owe you. Um, but we'll pick up some more harbors with the Swahili. Also, their uh, embarkment. Brilliant. It's a farmer's quarter. It's a market quarter, which is nice. Uh, and loads more stability. So we won't be reliant on trade. And a brilliant outfit. Let's do it. These harbors are broken. <laughs> yeah, we're we're doing we're doing pretty good. Wisdom and technical innovation from earlier eras bring humankind new knowledge. And You're right, so long as it has some it industry queued up, we can ship it around. Other the world. I've got to build it eventually, um, and it's a damn good district. So I, I wouldn't prioritize anything else ahead of it. It was providing like eighty yield or oh, sixty yield. 
The Lighthouse of Alexandria should do And the Lighthouse of Alexandria is finally done, which is neat. Uh, we could try and convert our faith into food. I haven't built the Angkor Wat in a very long time. Um, Notre Dame. Yeah. Plus 2% money. We are making a lot of money. We do have a lot of resources. <sighs> Totaiji I'm not interested in. Um, I'm going to go for the food from Faith. It's been a long time. Angkor who? Angkor what? Plus 20% money. It is actually pretty decent, isn't it? I wonder if it's worth a push to grab it as well. Or oh, it's probably not actually because just getting my Bandari online earlier is probably better than all of the above. <laughs> Let's have a look. It's pretty good. 41 bucks. Once they're online though, of course, it's going to become insanely good. So, oh, I'm having regrets. Wow. Okay. That's good too. <laughs> and then we'll smash some down in uh, Salt Lake City as well after paying for a fishmonger. Woo. Woo. 80 stability. What's wrong with you? Ah, ha, 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 ha. That is very good. That is very good. I'm not sure I understand either, Siri. That is very good. Slap a couple of these down. 30 stability over there. 30 stability over there. Not to mention all that money. Uh, and then here where we've just built the thorn. We're coming back. They're like, you just, you just built a harbor, dude. Easy with the harbors. Uh, we can actually get one online immediately on our outposts, which makes it uh, very delicious. <laughs> oh man, that's stupid. I love it. Just want you to come for the first time ever. Oh, congrats! It's awesome. Go you. If fame could be purchased on the open market with 15 market quarters, you'd be rolling in it. <sighs> Loads of market quarters, but no sciencey ones. The capital should have that. Oh my god. Just gonna get rid of some people. <laughs> Come on, move along. We've got stuff to do here. People to see. Allows me to claim, merge, and attach with money instead of influence. Uh, there's potentially some pretty loopy things that we can do with that. I suppose there are. Make personal rights for plus five percent extra money. Start to fill the coffers every turn, uh, and then snowball that with some additional trade. Picking up the gemstones for the extra money on market quarters is, is now very good, considering we have, don't forget, harbours that are market quarters. This, Neat. This is something you need to see. Open borders, come on in! Go on! Let's be allies. I yes! We're the best of friends. Uh, but we don't want a customs union, we're not quite that good. Impressive. Okay. Now we have a look over Cultural here wonder. and oh my that god. Makes me want to pull out oh my god, look! <laughs> Land ho! <laughs> uh, now that we're Swahili, we can bounce over there very easily as well. Check out that embarkment. Hey? This chariot that's barely <laughs> that cannot swim. Um is gonna jump over here and grab all this for us. Don't 
we should allow double harbor if touched by two adjacent oceans. It would be amazing, but it would be uh, incredibly uh, overpowered. <laughs> yeah, it would be. They would have to nerf the district to balance that, probably. Maybe not, but probably. Uh, you counter that. We don't really want to share with them. They're not really our people. <laughs> Good God. Um, 12 food? Why not? Drago, thanks for following. Uh, let's just keep improving the harvest. <laughs> it's really hard to justify much else. Um, oh, there could be some good districts over here. 17 food. Well, hey, it's not terrible. Uh, start to boost the capital up. Spend a little bit of this newly earned income uh, on good, not bad. Buy a fishery as well. That'll help the harbors even more. <laughs> Getting crazy. Uh, I wonder if we have... Oh, that's neat. Um, I wonder if we have... We do have plus one city cap with theology. And likely either enough influence or money to be able to afford an extra city. That could be the best upgrade in town. Yeah. Except for maybe money on harvests, actually. It's really nice. <laughs> oh, it would make me a lot of money. And money per naval trade route. Oh. Islands can be garbage, yeah, but but not always. I like I like this place is fantastic. Once you get hamlets as well, don't forget, um, islands become uh, very 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 workable, providing you actually have some, of course. <laughs> Although I do have a soft spot in my heart for the the one tile city, one hex northeast. I'm in here. Imagine if there was. You rarely ever see the one hex in humankind. Oh, look, we made it. Uh, in Swahili, I can just kind of bounce around wherever I like. So let's jump over here and take this. Yup, 11 industry. Get that done in three turns. Neat. Our expansion continues just when you thought the world was closed. Uh, and you know what? Actually, we should probably stretch all the way across here too and try and grab some of this. I can't believe that there's land in the middle here that's unclaimed by Babylon as well. That's a bit weird. We'll turn this into a city probably as well. Each one had a resource on them. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Stuart Island of City. <laughs> Or Stuart Island. Oh, God. Um, plus 15 money. I mean, I don't really need 15 bucks, to be fair. We're probably all right. Um, plus one combat strength isn't really even useful either. I kind of don't want any of these. Patriotic. Sure. How can I use that to my advantage? Um, produce some elephants. Okay. Yeah, actually, you know, we haven't invested in military in a while, so let's build uh, four elephants. <laughs> I love it. Just to, you know, because there, there is potentially still a threat up here. Haojing's got 17 population now, so it does look a little scary. And my defenses up here are pretty... Well, they're pretty... Terrible, to be honest. Kia ora, John! <laughs> no, I've never been. I've never been. I would really like to, though. Uh, a lot. Actually. 
Hey, why don't we jump out and grab this with our elephant? <laughs> because obviously, how else would you saw something in the middle of the ocean? Neat. Ah, speaking of neat, we carry on with six movement points a turn, thanks to the Lighthouse of Alexandria and Swahili's maneuverability. Incredible. Ten We're looking good. Um, although we are a little lost at sea. Ah! Is to come up with a suitable epic name. <laughs> Crap. Oh no. I've ended in a particularly rough looking turbulent waters as well. That's a disaster. Sadly, nothing. Nothing in this fog. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe up this way somewhere though. This is all very. This is all very. Please come and discover me sort of vibes. Uh, coming out of that place. <laughs> hey, look at this. Woof. Go on. Feudalism would be nice one of these days, too. <laughs> Yikes. One industry? Mm. Maybe we'll go for the 11 food instead. Probably go for the double food, actually. Just so that this place can grow. A little bit. Uh, and... Do, 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 do. Most of the infrastructure is likely not super good. 25 stability by putting a garrison next to that harbour. Um, for now, it'll do. It'll do. Kiowa. Starting with no population, but it's going to go places fast. <laughs> Or it's gonna be garbage for the rest of its life. We'll soon find out. I think Share maps with I the Mongols. Okay, now that you're the Mongols, I'll allow it. I have a soft spot for them. Naval elephants. With effectively, this is the naval elephant run. Dang it. <laughs> I think I'll need a little bit more science where that came from too. So, uh, I might buy an elephant and then spend a few turns becoming better at science. Start to fill up some extra jobs, make use of these populations and stuff. Seems good. Seems good. Wow. Far-flung islands. They do. They do. And the polar regions, um, of course, tend to have a lot of, say, oil and such, too. <laughs> loads of iron, loads of oil. Hopefully there's some uranium somewhere around here as well. Um, I am due a coffee refill, so what I'm going to do is put us onto the best BRB screen in YouTube gaming, and I will see you in uh, a couple of minutes. And a big hello to you, uh, Drago. Thank you so much for your feedback. I'm super excited for the Bolivar update as well. Uh, I'll see you soon. Check this out. Wow.
Good for you right there, it's green. <laughs> uh, go to hell. Welcome in. Mm, sweet microwave goodness, oh my god, he did. Let's get back to it. Oh, what a groovy tune. I love it. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's roll. I'm a little worried about kill light at first, but these guys are all peaceful, so... They're fine. Um... Let's go for a little explore with our <laughs> with our naval elephant. Glorious. Fuck with this merchant ability is uh, again is slightly less glorious. Uh, would have liked to just have a bit more diversity with it, uh, like kind of I don't know. <laughs> Maybe use one to search a whole load of influence or something. Uh, actually, one thing that is on my mind is just how potentially good the Great Zimbabwe could be. I might do a little risk play. Holy crap, look at how big this place has gotten already. Whoa. <laughs> You're a big boy. Um, alrighty. Eight money out of that. Not terrible. Uh, some walls might be a good idea, though. Defend what we own. Uh, and then, actually, we could probably use a couple of districts. Now, if the other island's anything to go by, they're garbage. And we should probably just mooch off this territory, actually. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, and that'll be why we're seeing some uh, mixed results out of this. That'll do. Um, oh. What I would actually like to do, though, is see if I can smash out this Angor Watt, which I'm trying to place <laughs> as if it's Machu Picchu, which is always fun. Uh, is there a spot on the map where we can farm a whole lot of yields that aren't already being farmed? Kind of. Yeah. Pete, it's all you. It's going to be all you. <laughs> Let's place it down here. And hopefully, if I put every single city on it, yeah, we can do it in two turns. That's actually very fast for, yes, a 300 turn normal pace game. Um, Imperial power. Let's do catch up. Oh, find a ship. Hey! Uh, we're going to lose this unit, but hopefully what, what we lose, we get back three times over. Come on, baby, another ship. Ah, oh, I mean, money's good too. If we could get open borders with Sir, these guys. What do you desire? You like open borders? I oh. think you might. Okay. Well. <sighs> Me then. Um, I guess I'll just go this way instead. Ah, oh, so close. So close. Ooh. No. So what kind of combat strength are we dealing with here? 35. And this clan has 26. Let's take it. Our first naval battle. It's a great victory. <laughs> Good. Uh, the naval elephant's going to try and do much the same. 
maybe it could pop overseas there. Go on. <laughs> Find something good. The site of Angkor hey, Angle Watt's done. Weapons. That looks Not like a great blue attempt. hole if I've ever seen but one. The care, yes! Great blue fish. hole, plus two science per researcher. Interesting. Hmm. Hello, Ahmad. Um, I'm not sure about that. Uh, oh, we are at 60 likes. Uh, thank you to everybody who's just tuning in on YouTube. Our YouTube viewership numbers are just going up and up and up as the stream progresses, which is unusual. But I guess that's what I get for starting early. Uh, <laughs> rip the ocean chariot. Yeah, rip a all right. Although, the ocean elephant could still bring in something for us here. Yep, it did indeed. That's really good because now we can sail way the huck to the north. Ooh. Revealing an empire. A very strong empire. Huh. I mean, there's a lot of potential here. Look at these massive cities. You pump units out of there like there's no tomorrow. Kill it, John. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Fishery, 12 food. Fishmonger, 12 money. Charcoal kiln, 14 industry. Let's get that one first. Um, might also start to prep another place that could build science. Although this place actually, uh, hilariously, is all about the money. <laughs> uh, let's get some glorious looking market quarters in here. I'll take three. Thank you very much. And I will claim... The Great Zimbabwe. Yes! Woo! Uh, we managed to get the Great Zimbabwe and Angkor Wat in this era. This era has some particularly good wonders, and I think that the Great Zimbabwe is going to really benefit us, considering we're making a thousand bucks a turn. Um, where do I want to build it? Oh, I guess I could do it here. Uh, no, let's, let's do it in Salt Lake City. We can protect Salt Lake City a little better. Oh, although, actually, a y quick yield check. Yeah, I'll do it in Salt Lake. <laughs> we'll smash it down there. <laughs> and let's try and get this up immediately as well. This will probably be a bit slower. Yeah, six turns. But I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Go. Ah, oh, the coup. <laughs> Such a shame that we didn't get a melee unit here in time. Where have you been? Ooh. I'm accidentally buying gemstones. I didn't mean to do that. I actually wanted to use my ability on it. Cha-ching! There's 2,000 bucks into the coffers, which is actually only two turns, but uh, pretty good. I'm going to put this unit on auto explore and it can paint out the rest of the map for me. Uh, save us a job later. And maybe use money where appropriate to help places like this city with some very basic infrastructure. <laughs> yep. I think das is good. To be fair, it's not brilliant. But it'll do. Please! <laughs> let them be land! Uh, not quite. Uh, and actually, you're kind of a terrible auto-explorer because you're still a cog, technically. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll keep the elephant in the shallows. Pump it full of a bit of cash. And then... Use this boat to sort of hoover everything up. Oh, you're absolutely right, Hoff. I want to buy all the gemstones before using my ability. Good call. I want everybody to be a merchant, and I want everybody to buy everything off everyone. 
<laughs> Setting sail. Your empire becomes one of the giants. Your the empire is struggling with science, and is what he should have said. <laughs> Zing! Ooh! That is a statue worth pillaging. <laughs> Surely! Uh, let's move up here. Maybe there's an island untouched, although it doesn't look like it. Grab feudalism so that future cities are nowhere near as bad as my current ones. Couple of stars has me- oh my god, we don't even have a pole! Hmm. To keep boating or not to keep boating? That is the question. I'm officially taking suggestions for who you would like to see me play in the early modern era. Mm. Could just go the poles and Hulk smash next door. Venetians, great for trade. Dutch. More difficult to pull off, but not terrible. Those are the two boat options. Josie on for science is also another good call. Those are kind of the four that I was toying up in my mind. or Japanese. <laughs> hey, we do actually have one tile that would be really good for them. Uh, plus five influence per adjacent mountain. You ready for this? Wow. That one right there. That's your tile. Difficult to get in there though. <laughs> Pretty difficult to get in there. Okay. I'm gonna check up a YouTube poll. Um, I'm gonna go... Good evening, uh, Ivan. I think we have a few good options here, actually. Oh. Oh. Blind bits, you gave me a fright. Thanks for following. <laughs> I'm toying up between the poles for the Militarist Smash, Venice for the boat money trade game, or science through Joseon. Uh, a reminder, poles, pretty damn strong. Uh, we haven't really played them much though. The idea is I'll go militarous and just take the continent that is mine. Unite the peninsula. Uh, and then we have the Venetians. Money per trade routes on city or outpost and money per naval trade routes. Plus a district that can provide me with a lot of money. Counts as a maker's quarter and a galleass that can fire guns off of a boat. Pretty cool. Uh, and then lastly, we have what well, is probably the resource that I need the most, Joseon. Science can also research through into the following era. Off those who I'm voting. <laughs> Place your votes! We'll see how we go. Um, I honestly think that they're all pretty workable strategies. They just have different... Mm, results. But I think we can push through. Hello, D-Shark. Blind bits. I would love to, if they were uh, a viable option for me. To <laughs> to back. Hey, look, here's a floating boat shadow. Um, oh, 
Uh, don't mind me, just sailing through. Nothing to see here. Unfortunately, this boat isn't quite going to make it back in time. <laughs> oh, no, it is. I tell a lie. Uh, although, a not, not actually back to shallow territory. There's the Great Zimbabwe. We're now making 1500 bucks a turn. Uh, you can see how the strategy with Venice might play out. It's that buy everything strategy. Uh, I could go for yet another wonder, but I think I'll save up for the next era because we're about to move through to the next era and there will be some glorious things waiting for us there too. All right. Um, if we take the poles, it'll be a pole smash through this way using a newly upgraded winged hussar. Uh, as the Venetians, we could also potentially do a smash and grab this and then leave them over on that continent, uh, go for some boat warfare. Although it's not a perfectly coastal territory. It's often hard to find perfectly coastal territories in humankind. We should try and set up a map for it. The Venice strategy is victory. The Venice strategy has an incredible synergy. Uh, an, inc an incredible synergy to what we've already done. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be said. <laughs> that is uh, a powerful way to play. Um, especially with the amount of trade that's going on. Let's grab another gemstone and actually see if we can expand trade with someone new. Oh, who are you? You're awful. What are you doing? <laughs> You're so aggressive. Jeez. Greeting. So, what do you desire? Could one of your cities Boaty McBoat? Or Boaty McBoatface? Surely. <laughs> A proposal for you. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Deal. That's a brilliant suggestion. Um, this is good for us. Earlier too, friend. Um... <laughs> I could do it right now. And actually, really fittingly, this one down here, which is Super Ocean. Done. Bodie McBoat face. <laughs> it's the deal. Uh, get the forge online. Pick up all this basic crap. Uh, do, 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 do. Do in Pretoria, which is also, by the way, shaping up to be a very nice looking city. Um, and I might surge a little bit of cash into investing in science here. Also, seeing as we have a few research quarters, we should get the scientific infrastructure as well. And maybe go full send it uh, expert policy first and foremost. Science. Yeah, actually something a bit like that. Loads of food, loads of science. Try and boost the scientists. <laughs> um, hey, the cog produced another cog. And the, <laughs> the wheel of fortune continues. There's a territory here that they haven't even claimed. What the? What is wrong with you people? pop back this way and just kind of sit around in this neutral territory until it becomes no longer neutral territory. Uh, oh, we are at, as I do it, 66 likes, two thirds of the way towards triple digits. Interesting. Not bad for an off day. There's feudalism, so new cities are better. And I'm going to keep ignoring that. Use the civic change. Post up the cogs. <laughs> Trying to sort of like passively aggressively call dibs without calling dibs. Um. This one really doesn't benefit from much because it's not actually attached to any extra land. It's unclear whether it can be. Although I see coast there, don't I? Let's go and have a look. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. It's at the very least piqued my curiosity now. Uh, we'll also take 
chivalry for the Kramlets. <laughs> and then seafaring mastery after that for the money. And then we'll bounce back and upgrade our basic military too. Because they're looking a little worse for wear. To be fair. Feudalism is a brilliant, brilliant technology, Aaron. Now, let's go have a look at this mysterious, these mysterious coastal tiles. There's more than one, actually. Um, how are we doing for stars, and do I need to move through? The answer to the second question is no. The answer to the first question is, eh, all right. Over there. Let's go. Patrolling I'll wait in shallow waters for a turn. <laughs> and he okay, so we did find more land. Uh, unfortunately, it was already mine. <laughs> Not a new territory. More of the same. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Pete. I'm <laughs> waiting in anticipation a little. <laughs> a little afraid. Ah, dang it. This is actually completely sea locked. A shame. Um, also a shame are most of the upgrades here. Uh, largely pretty useless. Plus two money per number of trade routes. Probably my best bet. Phew, other ones that kind of excite me are purge idleness and gluttony. But I think we'll take this and run with it. Plus two money per number of trade routes. Puts me at 1800 bucks a turn. Not bad. Reaching the end of an ideology. Lenek, the open-mindedness to surge up a little bit of extra influence. Think of it as being focused, yes? Very good. And um, then all that we have left to do is hopefully fill out another one of these crosses. <laughs> we check the religious view. You can see that we're pushing nicely. Uh, we've taken this territory now. So that's pretty cool. To celebrate that success, <laughs> let me build a holy site here. <laughs> Congratulations! You've found the one true word. Now you have a place to worship and pump out extra faith pressure from. Go on! Spread that good word. Two, three, or four tenets really need an update. They do. Uh, I think that the four are better than the three in their defense, but yeah. Unless it's perfectly at the power level that it's intended. Because it could be. Uh, none of my territories follow foreign religions, so they're all sort of garbagey. Um, land rights is useful for a little bit of extra food early on, but I think we might go plus 10% money and An allow me to do stuff with money instead of influence. So my influence well, now is basically just <laughs> wonder bucks <laughs> and civic bucks, which is really useful, actually. Uh, who would like to grab this? Doesn't matter too much, although you've got a little more room to grow. So I'll give it back to you. Thirty market quarters. Sweet. Are you going to start building houses with gold bricks? Uh go on, go for gold. Blades <laughs> in the water. Hey! As feudal Come structures. On. <laughs> Dang it! There's loads of good stuff out here. We're just gonna zip around with this throwaway unit and effectively just convert it into science and influence. <laughs> and or gold or money. Just whatever we can really. Yeah, extra extra options. Uh, a great solution. Yeah, I agree. It is good that we can tell exactly how much we, right? So I'm like, do I want to spend four turns on this for plus nine science? Or do I want to spend three turns on this for plus four influence? Or do I want to spend uh, three turns on this for three money? Or three turns on this for eight industry? Um, I don't actually think the science ones are that bad, but you have to be kind of focused around them. Other otherwise, they're a waste of time. <laughs> but with a few science quarters, they're actually pretty valuable. If a little knowledge valuable. is a dangerous thing, 
With five research quarters, like I'll probably, this city it's probably the best thing I can do here. In the least. And in fact, we should probably double down on that and get more science. Yes. Uh, I'm in first, which is great. Somebody's chosen the Ottomans, so it could be time to go soon. Uh, although as more gold comes in, uh, I find myself lingering longer. Um, it's a shame we couldn't pick up one more territory. And seeing that one there, I just can't help but think. <sighs> it's really frustrating. So those ones are there, although they've just been taken. It's going to be bad news for my boats. Uh, it does sort of leave me eyeing up this opportunity again as well, actually. Um, let's send our needing to be upgraded elephants on the biggest march of their lives. What do they upgrade into? Knights. It's not great. <laughs> Not great, but all right. Hey, we crossed over this uh, first like threshold. Thank you very much, everybody. We might actually make it to triple digits. And I appreciate you for being here. Um, and happy weekend. Shout out to all you. Mm, I would again disagree just a little bit with you. I don't I don't think that they are. I think that they're just specialized. They're just specialized. Um Fishery plus 18 food. You know? <laughs> they're just specialized is the thing with them. <laughs> Pretoria loves a fishery. <laughs> but it doesn't love science upgrades. Right? It hates them. Plus three science. Rubio. Rubio loves it a science upgrade. Plus 22 out of that library. <laughs> a good library. 16 out of its school. So yeah, I, I think they're just specialized is the thing. Too much peace? I do tend to agree, actually. And I'm kind of sitting here thinking, ooh, what should I do? I think I know exactly what I need to do. We need to push through this way. And we should probably use boats to do it. Uh, or alternatively, I guess I could pick on someone else. Um, but our neighbor here seems like a good person to pick on. Let's move through to the next era. Um, I'll just check that any of these aren't too close. Well, I know that one is, but I'll ignore it. Could try and push for a fight now as well, I suppose. With those stars. We'll look and see what this strength is actually like. squeeze my way along here. <laughs> it's a very weak city, actually. You might be onto something. I had it in my mind that I need to wait a bit longer, but I actually don't think I do. I think what we'll do here is try and go for a sneak surprise attack. <laughs> try to catch them unawares. <laughs> Without having the crossbows, it's a little uh, questionable whether it's a good idea to have no really good ranged unit. Um, so maybe I do just move through to the next era. Interestingly, Joseon is winning the poll. I really, I actually thought it would lose. That's really interesting. Twenty money out of some of these, Whoa. and then a hamlet down here, which will allow us to build out and uh, probably actually everywhere. In fairness, ah, thirty-one. There's that wonderful tile. <laughs> I'll just plop one down. so that everywhere has one queued up, add a few extra jobs, help the growth along. You know how it goes. Yeah, which is sort of exactly my point, Nathaniel. It's highly specialized. 
A city with lots of farms won't benefit from a dockyard. <laughs> but a city with lots of docks won't benefit from a farmyard granary, as it were. Although the although the granary um, is fairly universally good. Most of the time, <laughs> but not always. <laughs> The broader point that some are better than others is, of course, well taken. Ooh, these guys need a library. <laughs> Get in and read some books. Do I want to push this right here right now? Yes, I do. Let's do it. Hey, friend. Will do. Or foe. This is what you get for stealing the Norse! <laughs> the Norse remember. The Norse remember. <laughs> They're like, he's turning up with chariots? What? <laughs> he's a fool! He's a fool. Oh, he is. This place is unlikely to benefit from really any because of its lack of land access. Um, although if we can fill up jobs... Yeah, see, like, the library actually here is the best. So I'll queue that first, and then something else piqued my interest slightly. What was it? The granary. Your library and a granary there. Maybe we'll go for the granary first, try and help growth. I think I'll just buy that. That's not even going to help. We're kind of capped out. So this will just sort of level itself off around this point, which probably means that a hamlet is a very good idea. We could also then build adjacent to that, get some extra jobs. Um, it is a bit of a sciencey place. But I can't fill those jobs without food. Whether or not <laughs> so we'll get some more farms going. Farmers Here we go. This city certainly Nice. Kiwa grows a little bit larger. You have unlocked seafaring. Ah, to safely travel the dangerous, hungry oceans. You can cause trouble anywhere you want now. And have oh, yes, we're at war! <laughs> General, are you even paying attention? Yes. Um, okay, what have you got? You've got crossbows. Hmm. I wonder if that means you're really, really, really strong. I think it could. I might just hold off and uh, pillage this instead. Start to deal damage the cowardly way. <laughs> yes. And um, looking at this could be kind of nice. Could be kind of nice to have a garrison nearby, maybe. Um, well, that's terrible for me. <laughs> Get out of there. Quickly, find some more boats. See if you can daisy chain me some boats on the way home, too. No? Okay. <laughs> um, I could pillage literally just to fundraise. Attack! I guess since we're just standing here, we might as well. We'll do a double pillage. Oh, how dare you! <laughs> Squeeze back there like that. I just have to keep an eye on the war support that I don't lose too much by being challenged to fights I can't win. Um, a lousy combat could screw me here. Indeed. Let's get a 10% science boost using our influence. Nice little conversion across there. And you voted for Joe Sion as the next pick. Neat. The polls came very close at 39%. No one wanted Venice. Boats. I care not for your boats. <laughs> I like it, because it will also hook me up with some way better units. So, let's not dilly-dally, uh, unless there's something very close. Yeah, we got the merchant start. Neat. Uh, that's going to be a way off. I feel like the militarists might be too difficult as well. So, let's bounce through. We're in first place, which is good. 
Okay, J-O-E-C-O-N, -E -O -E what have you got for me? Plus three science on tiles, producing science. A wonderful scientific district and a boat with guns. So a little bit of boat love still to be had. And a wonderful outfit. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, we're about to go hopefully nutso on the tech tree. So let's queue up probably uh, three master chips already ready. We're going to need gunpowder. So let's queue up military architecture. <laughs> what is that move? Jeez. I'm just coming back to defend my city from these mercenaries. God. Oh, and you are due an upgrade, which is very good. Let's bring these units back to base and upgrade them. <laughs> it's probably almost worth stopping the pillage. Look at this. Triple promoted crossbowmen. That ought to put up a bit of a fight. Um, yeah, we've got heaps of them to upgrade. But at two turns left to pull it off, I'm going to try and be greedy. Geography, cartography, the Joseph geography and cartography, so some wonderful ships. things. I wonder if their scholars <laughs> worked with brushes and parchment, however, rather than pens. Bring these units up just to show that I am actually very strong, so don't fight me. Please. <laughs> Pillage that, one turn to go. Cool. Couple of defenders here. Grab that garrison. It's a unit spawn. <laughs> sure. Um, and then perhaps some pikes. Maybe some crossbows. Pikes uh, better than the swordsman that I'm currently carrying. So, And pretty cheap to build as well. At one a turn. And 700 bucks. I'll take four. Thank you. Neat. So now we've got reinforcements pumping out of this garrison right here. Uh, hopefully a large enough army to take it. Although, I might actually just finish that as well. Grab the fishery too. Start to queue up some of our uniques, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was quite a good one. But they're likely to be their best down around this area. 25 science, pretty good. Yeah, up here, not so good. <laughs> not uh, so good. 55 money. Out of that upgrade. A brand new upgrade, I think, too, eh? Yeah, look at that. $121. Whew! Don't talk about my fish markets! <laughs> that is incredible. Go, Boaty McBoatface. Goodness gracious, we've got a lot of yield to grab here. <laughs> here, four bucks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, we've moved through the next era, so shall I get Machu Picchu to complete the food journey that we're on? I probably should. Although, quite a bit of value maybe in grabbing that first. I'm doing it. Top copy. Yoink. March all the units as far north as we can and try and salvage this boat. Whoa, we pull off the pillage, the <laughs> which is awesome. I suppose there's no um, out that no, let's then visit. replace this outpost before some AI runs over to try and steal it, which they will because they love to do that. Um, they're sending an army through my land. It's probably not going to achieve a lot. Where is that going? Oh, I guess that's technically theirs. Hey, wait a minute. That's technically theirs. Could very well be a city hiding away up there that I don't even know about. Uh, but more like... Oh, yeah, actually. Holy cow. 
We've got a lot of fighting to do. Let's sweep this way first. Bring the units back that need upgrading. Grab this place a harbour for 22 food, 3 gold, and 10 stability. <laughs> Relocate it somewhere completely different for 5 extra industry. Good one. And then move on Haojing next turn. And we'll send everybody in to do that, I think. Yes! International trading will let us trade while at war or be a globalist. Uh, nationalist, globalist kind of vibes. How's my faith doing in comparison to others? That's a good idea, actually. We haven't looked at the faith view in a while. E holding our own, but actually losing. No! <laughs> haven't really chosen a faithy culture ever. Bit of a letdown. We've gone for money instead. Holy cow, we've gone for money. Some of these are brilliant. Some of these are garbage. Very situational. <laughs> Speaking of garbage, let's let our neighbor know just how garbage they are. <laughs> Good. But first, a word from our sponsor, upgrading these units. Thank you. And the capital... will fall. Let's watch it fall. And auto-resolve glory. <laughs> Look at this. We move in with a quick surround. You can see they have six units up in the top left. It's kind of interesting. Gold is my god, <laughs> it's true. Um, they're going to struggle to get over. Unfortunately, the AIs jump my triple promoted. Oh, God. Why would you do that? What is wrong with you? Oh, that is heartbreaking. We want to try and do is sink these while they're in the water what are you doing gary and i feel like you should be on the high ground what are you up to lock off all of this land <laughs> so they just can't get up Although they're going to here, and it's going to hurt me bad. Um, so maybe I step to the high ground. Oh. Almost an opportunity there. Weaken that guy nicely so that we have an extra walled slot to get to. And unfortunately, because I can't swap that unit out, that's all that she wrote. <sighs> A shame. Anybody outside the walls should be charged by my war elephants immediately as well. There's a lot of ship. <laughs> that's a lot of ship. I need a navy of my own. the walls hold the walls try and bait them into fighting these guys hey fight me 
Oh, all right. Our triple promoted um, ranged unit, our triple promoted crossbow, unfortunately lost its two friends thanks to some nasty positioning uh, that auto decided to send itself out into the ocean. Not ideal. Oh, not sure what happened there. <laughs> the Norse just needed a minute to think. Okay, they did sort of take the bait to stab the elephant. And the siege was successful because I took the flag. Very good. A very good fight. Try and heal uh, some of these powerhouses so that they're ready for another fight immediately if the AI decides to come over and take me. Uh, thankfully, got some extra rangers coming. And that is a very good take. A uh, very good take. Three mastered ship. Give it to me. And I'll take that naval artillery at some point soon as well, I think. Merge up a few of these armies, a few units. Try and <laughs> save a little bit of money where I can. Although it's not really the end of the world. Actually, I could have considered buying the research there. Oh, and our boat made it back. Come on. Heal you up and send you back out there. <laughs> 200 bucks. Okay. A little bit more money hidden here, I would say. Praise be. Oh, no. Influence and science. Even better. Be able to squeeze one of these in place of that hamlet and then rebuild the hamlet on a new island lather rinse and repeat that process slowly fill up kilwa uh here's us making it through to tier four before anybody else we're the greatest religion in the world um and i'm gonna take donate generously not for the money per alliance but for the three holy sites uh combat strength per unit is is very tempting but this is kind of the one of the only real ways that I'm going to generate faith, unless we specifically choose a faithy culture, which we may not choose or be able to do. So I think we'll take this. We'll get our three holy sites and we'll start pumping out the good word. Uh, okay. And it maybe starts up here. In Salt Lake City, baby. <laughs> Uh, or actually, maybe just over here. It's not terrible. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> Make sure that we build one of these a turn, so that over the next three turns we get three extra holy sites. And you can position there, and you can position there, and you can build, Pete, your wonderful new districts. Go you. <laughs> In fact, I'll actually just buy them outright for you. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Um, and then we'll also obviously look to grab schools and stuff here too. Start to surge our science. The only way we know how. Foreign customs is fantastic. Every culture Take plus 100% fame Extradition. from our ace stars. Values. Not that we're earning an incredible number it of those. Be cruel to see uh, them and pay. I, as we tick over 75 likes, brilliant. Uh, I'm just going to take a very quick break with a very great BRB screen. I'll see you in a minute.
Oh, oh that is rough. That is rough. 50 fame. Amplitude, I want my money back. All right, let's do this. Ooh. City's on fire! <laughs> That's cool. I love that detail. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, look, this isn't going to work out for you, friend. Yeah, back off. Uh, mixed banners. Would we like to sacrifice or indoctrinate? I don't really want to do either. You I guess we'll diversify. Of, an ideology axis. of all the epithets other empires may use for you, wishy <laughs> <God, laughs> <Venice. laughs> Um, Ooh, God. Oh, God. Salt Lake City has fallen! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What the heck's going on here? Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Clean up an aisle two. Just stall that one out. Uh, and while that's stalling out... We'll fight these units here because we win this and we destroy. Right? I think I can almost do it here again as well, no? Yeah. We'll insta resolve. I actually didn't quite mean to do that, but I just kind of clicked through. Okay. Um, so we'll completely obliterate half of their army out here. God, I'd love to tidy up that one as well, but I can't. Um, it's going to put a lot of pressure on this place. Now, unfortunately, Salt Lake City uh, kind of accidentally fell behind it. Uh, <laughs> just, just a bit of a disaster. So, let's just quickly train the Salt Lake City Liberators with uh, all of my infinite wealth. Neat. Send them up that way. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, I should probably do the same here. Uh, but maybe maybe just a couple of fast units. Two knights or something. That is a yikes. At least we had a military star! <laughs> uh, oh, actually. I can probably reinforce back here and save the day. So let's do that. I should have enough strength back here to hold this off. Actually, enough strength to take that down. Oh god, now I'm fighting everywhere. <laughs> I think this is okay. I'll tell you what's not okay. That is not okay. Try and get these crossbows up to the front line. The downside to the crossbow, of course. Weaken that guy a bit more too. <laughs> Just to soften the blow. Oh. Oh! <laughs> this has just turned to absolute anarchy. Alright. Uh, back over at this fight. Let's sweep these guys. Hey, look. I'm on the flank. Loads of units coming in the back. Uh, they've put a crossbow at the front, so we can probably also K 
kind of throw ourselves at that a little bit. To <laughs> end that one. Taking hits, but also taking names. We overwhelm with uh, numbers here. And numbers are what matters. Kind of keen to sacrifice this unit. I'm sorry, they didn't like that. <laughs> sorry, unit. It's not you, it's me. I'm gonna bring my crossbow to the front as well, because I think it does the most damage. Yeah, look at that. Boom! Snake this one up here into a much better spot. And then squeeze our way in. And that is a very successful defense of this city. But <laughs> now there's a fight going on on the other side. This is what humankind is all about. You're totally right, Pete. Okay. A successful sweep. Good charge. No? Oh. <laughs> Send the elephant out. Trample that guy. Uh, anybody else? Oh. Really? Cog. Ah, <sighs> cog. Okay, now this one. I don't know about this one. Uh, one thing for sure, we're gonna need to step up onto these walls. Let's try and punish this crossbow. Get punished. Uh, go! <laughs> Send the cavalry at the anti-cavalry, because why not? A tough defense for these units. They've been flanked on both sides. Abandoned. Abandoned by their brothers. We had to go and save our city. A defeat at Haojing. A success here. And uh, a frustrating neutral takedown of Salt Lake City. Keep on producing. Keep on keeping on. Produce a few more units. Boaty McBoatface. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> Keep up the great work, Boaty. Uh, this one I can probably just click auto resolve here. Um, it should just send the crossbows to, to shoot the boat next turn. Uh, this is ugly though. HOLD! <laughs> Uh, uh. Oof. That is a painful blow. A painful blow. I really need to take Salt Lake City back. <laughs> Damn it, Salt Lake City. <laughs> Why did you have to do this? Can't you just be like every other city? Okay. Uh, that auto fight has wrapped up. Always good. Having lost Salt Lake City has presented a new opportunity. I can build a city for a bit cheaper. And we are one turn away from three mastered ship. Hey, actually... Every cloud has a silver lining, and I think, boom, this one uh, <laughs> has just been revealed. That's really good. It's also given me a, a, a sort of accidentally given me a new front line as well. Whew! Okay. Slap a cheeky garrison down there. Get it down in two. Nearly one. 
could be won if we get these units to go and make themselves useful. Four turns, not going to happen. What is this? I'll just manually look at this just in case. It was lucky I did too, maybe. <laughs> it was lucky I did too, maybe. The crossbows are stuck on low ground, so they're pretty garbage. Having said that, their crossbow is eh, a little better than mine. <laughs> Let's try and walk right up to it and have a look. Get these units way out of the way. <laughs> Hold the flag, win the fight. That's the plan there. Pretty simple. And I'll just hold this front line for a sec. Race these extra units up as fast as they can. As fast as we can. <laughs> yes. Future technologies for us. Patronage looks pretty good. Probably better than our gunboat. Although, yeah, because we don't have, even have gunpowder connected yet. Um, I think I'll get patronage before gunpowder as well. I think it's that good, especially for someone who's making a lot of money from resources. <laughs> Sweep in with a couple of cheeky reinforcements here. Take this crap down. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> nice. Uh, unfortunately, that's not actually Salt Lake City mine, though. That's just Salt Lake City <laughs> slightly weaker. <laughs> Damn it, Salt Lake City, please. Buy a couple of extra units. Pop that through. Oh, Jonas Arubio, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, Arubio, with a five, five dollar, dollar super, super jet. Jet. Amazing. Amazing. Thank, Thank you, Arubio. Arubio says, "Hey, Jumbo and the gang, just passing by to say hi." A beautiful smiling face. How's Sugarville going? <laughs> well, you'll be pleased to know that unlike Salt Lake City, uh, Sugarville actually going okay. Let me show you. How about it? It's actually, we'll just produce you a knight in your honor. You're just about to build your uniques. 26 population. Next door to Bodie McBoatface. Looking really good. Uh, we've given you a few extra neighbors since yesterday as well. So that's always nice. Uh, this is mine too. <laughs> Believe it or not. Cog v Cog and I lost. That's embarrassing for someone like me. Um, thank you again for your generosity yesterday and today. Just tuned in. We're rolling in money. We are your amoeba. Um, we're making nearly 2,000 bucks a turn. Which is very, very good. Um, this place is going to screw me with its geography. The geography that I use to defend myself many times. Now... How the turns have tabled. Well, that's not happening. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? Ah, oh, Sarubio, you, you bring with you a surge of likes as well. Thank you. Um, so that fight was in my favor. I suspect what we kind of caught a glimpse of last time happened. So I was a little hesitant the AI might move it, move me in bad places, try and push through along that low ground. I suspect we just got taken advantage of. Uh, let's have a look. 
Let's just be a little more patient. I know this terrain. It is my land. <laughs> Let's use it wisely. Ooh, I forgot about me holy science, didn't I? <laughs> Let's get one in Rubio's Sugarville. You haven't had a holy site in a while. Um, although you probably haven't had one because you've got all of your tiles connected already. Um, but actually, you know what? We can do one there. Connect a little bit of extra coastal water. Why not? Get someone to give you a hand. Try and push our faith that little bit more. <gasps> There's a 57 food harbor. Don't even have the fish. <laughs> Eh, yeah, the rest of these are kind of garbage. I guess I'll just do that and that. This poor place. It's coming along. 17 population, to be fair. It's a lot larger than some. <gasps> poor Pretoria. Um, oh, man. Poor Pretoria. Bad things are happening. Let's lock this down and eliminate. <laughs> Consider it done, Sir Rubio. As I thought about your name, I typed it instead of typing what you just said. Neat. There we go. <laughs> All right, up you get. Probably the worst night you'll that will ever serve under my name. Uh, judging by <laughs> the way the fight went the first time. No, 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 no. Ooh. Little discovery out there, but not what we're after. We want to get back these glorious tiles. <laughs> so, um, let's, can you please just merge with them? Thank you very much. Um, let's sort of bamboozle our way back in. Jumping on that river this turn's really nice because it means that now that we're in the next turn, we don't have to step over it again. Uh, we've already wasted a turn's worth of movement on it, so we can squeeze through... This should be a much safer attack because the geography's in my favor, but I'm just going to cautiously approach just in case. Get myself over the other side of this river is probably a really good shout too, actually. It's going to be a little difficult. Send the knight around the long way. <laughs> Hey, actually, we'll just send a whole army flanking around the long way there. Why not? And the AI should take my lead and send the knight and stuff up and around there. Uh, I don't mind if I lose a couple of pikes, particularly if it means the peasants are coming out of the wolves like this one did here. Um, yeah, this is fine. This is a fine auto resolve this time. <laughs> With a little more nous, anything is possible. Thanks, Rubio. Take care as well. You popped in, and I really appreciate it. Uh, also, the $5 super chat chucks you in with the $5 gang. <laughs> no, but um, actually, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Whatever it's got in store for you. Uh, in store. Hey, we took back Salt Lake City in your honor as well. Very good. Let's get these uniques built. Fairly quick smart. see my opponent maybe trying to do a little flank move around me here. Um, I'm not super concerned. However, we could use a few extra dudes, couldn't we? A little light. Very light, actually.
There we go. That should be enough to hold. And I think I can hold the war support for a bit. Intent may have my ear. I actually can't. I have to keep pushing. Okay, that's good to know. I can do that. <laughs> I can do that just fine. Especially now that we have this army, uh, which has been freed up by capturing this city. We should leave three back here so that I don't suffer the same ill fate like last time. Um, so let's chonk three crossbows inside of Salt Lake City. Uh, maybe also actually leave this unnamed uh, knight here as well. These can be four defenders. They can keep our capital and Salt Lake City and all these places back here safe. And keep their stability high as well if something bad happens. Wondering if you're a partner or an impediment. Hook up a little bit of extra trade as well. Add a little bit of extra money to the coffers. You have my ear. For a time. Flick back through, see if there's anybody who's got stuff for me. No? Okay, fine. Huh. Whoa. Okay. That's a tough first roll. I didn't get first spawn. Lucky for me, they failed to block the spawn. Clear this one out from behind our walls. Should have redeployed after I did that, but that's alright. Take a big stab out of that ranged unit as well. And this defense should be okay. The terrain is really interesting. Quite varied, quite leveled. Uh, ooh, we're being flanked this way too. Should I bring in these guys? I think the answer is yes! Probably should have moved that unit away. It's okay. Nice round. <laughs> nice round. Lost a ranger, but otherwise a goodie. out there and grab the flag as well, thus securing the victory. <laughs> Very good. With 30 research quarters, I think we can safely say that the Library of Alexandria has been avenged. I'm having to squeeze the victory there, but that's all right. <laughs> Worth it. Quickly heal up these guys because they're all that we've got. Anti cavalry. Now, nah, our <laughs> best units. 44 combat strength. Neat. Much better than our swordsman at 28. Not even close. Ugh. I see trouble afoot. Move up and stomp that out. And let's give Boaty McBoatface. <laughs> sure. Here's a holy sight for you. Enjoy. Be good. <laughs> Oh, I absolutely did not choose the right event there. It was a little bit of a preemptive move. Um, <laughs> speaking of preemptive moves, let's see if we can squeeze this out. What have you got? 235. Um, I think if I should wait like see. one, one or two more turns, actually.
Also try and squeeze up this way to whatever this this place is. In fact, let's send the Salt Lake defenders. I think my stability's okay. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we can also surge a little bit of science by using collective minds. Good here. It's a good place for collective minds. Collective minds not as good as it used to be, of course. Might get Salt Lake si eh, to pump out another one of these newly buffed units for me too. <laughs> All right, you. What have you got? Some militarization occurring on the border. I like to see it. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised that they don't run away from that. It should be a me victory all day, baby. Ooh, can I send this knight to trigger the fight? So Pixel himself may be able to trigger it here. It can. Place it under siege. A little bit different to normal, but I'm kind of keen to smash down those walls. Haojin could also take a whomping, actually. What have we got here? Ooh, reinforcements are on the way. Okay. I think considering reinforcements are on the way now, let's try and squeeze this coastline again. Make sure that I take all the deploy points. Let's do it. This one, I think I'm going to try. Ah! Shall I try the Insta Resolve? Sure. Hey! <laughs> Success! And we can start to choose an industrial era culture as well, but we've got plenty more science to earn just yet. Position myself here. Heal up nicely. Heal everybody. Keep these units positioned. Uh, they did decide to trigger this fight, which is neat. Can we just maintain the siege, though? Yeah, 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 sorry. So they haven't actually jumped out at me. Which is kind of cool, because it means that I can keep going. There's patronage, so we'll be able to improve our... Uh, wow! <laughs> All of our resources! These upgrades, if you haven't seen them before or you're unfamiliar with humankind, uh, basically unlock the wondrous effect for a luxury resource that we control majority of. Um, this sage, for example, let's use it as an example because it's a great one. I've got six of them. I'll receive the wondrous effect uh, by controlling all six, six on the map. I've got six, uh, either through trade or by building them. And uh, it's going to give me plus 30% city uh, food on all cities. Absurd. Absurd and powerful and wonderful. So freaking good. Uh, even if we have a look at, let's say, Saffron. We've got five Saffron uh, connecting the Wondrous Effect here will provide me with 25%, a further 25% bonus food uh, on all of my cities. Not a bad shout. <laughs> Not a bad shout at all. Um, uh, the beauty, of course, as well, is that if we had any that were outposts, we would be able to um, insta-build them with influence. Sadly, not the case. However, we do have a couple more to build here. They're very cheap to do with population as well, so if you don't have the money and you want to do it in a turn, especially if a city's not growing or it's kind of full, you could always choose to just blurt one out. Now, in this case, it wasn't really a good idea, but, eh, I mean, it is what it is. So good. Kind of felt like I already had this, but apparently I don't. Uh, loads of things along here for us to get, though. I think we'll start with 
Plus 10% money from, from privatized industries. Needs. The long hours. Ooh, hold on. I've just spied an enemy army moving through here in a relatively undefended area. Bit of a yikes. My island territory with lots of luxuries a has been finished. Setback, <gasps> I hope. But your empire has been outdone and others are now leaving a greater mark. Oh my god. X. Shoot. All those of honest intent may have You know what? Here. We're about to squeeze them out anyway. Squeeze them out of here and then quickly hoover that back up. They'll probably run for that too, knowing the bloody yobbos. <laughs> Interesting that they would just leave these cities. Welcome. Let us speak. Oh damn. <laughs> okay, let's get a knight. It's a pixel, unfortunately, a little bit busy at the minute. Although, as we end the war, so they'll actually me, free up, so we're probably okay. Today? Must I accept every I'll refuse that. that comes my way? It's 20 no. for refusing the surrender. But I'm not too concerned. I think we'll be able to push a counter-aggression here like there's no tomorrow. Uh, ooh, if I have gunpowder, we could really be away and laughing. Um, let's have a look. See if we've got any. What's the bet it's here? Oh, it's not. Um, Bodie McBoatface? No? What about Kilwa? Hmm. Hopefully Kilwa will have some. <laughs> At some point. Chartered Company's very good as well. Hoover up all of these. Eighteen money. That's not really worth writing home about, is it? Really? <laughs> Starving here again, so let's get another food place. A food place? I'm going to try and go all in on this fight and then end this war. So I'm going to just quickly abandon Hao Jing and put all of my eggs in one basket and then try and tap out. <laughs> Whoa, the siege is coming along okay. <laughs> We've got four tribuchets. Uh, neat. If I lose it, it sucks. If I win it, we're doing very well. Pretty sure I have gunpowder in the north. Here's one. Good call. Shame we don't have the second. Um, although... <laughs> Good one. All right. Let's up the ante. I think as soon as we bring in the guns, we win. So I'm going to manual battle. Look at those tribuchets. God, they are glorious. All right, uh, this troop, shock troopers, gonna move them up this way. Also hold this coastline, right? Gonna be reinforcements coming this way like there's no tomorrow. So let's scream along there and pin that. Tribuchet is gonna fire literally like there's no tomorrow. That is some pretty neat damage actually. Should record a little bit of footage for this. That's pretty cool. Soup. 
super duper range. Although frustratingly, this one a little out. <laughs> Let's defend these bad boys. That's a nice first round. We even sniped a horse behind a wall. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. What a siege, actually. Trebuchets. I'm tickled with those. <laughs> yeah. Do you name? Do you name? It's a bit requirement previews. Do you name them? Do you not name them? I I can I can absolutely see both sides. I'm a big fan of the overall transparency, though. I am. I agree. Ooh, just crossing over 90 likes. Go you. <laughs> That's wicked. Uh, okay, so here come the reinforcements coming out of what I can only assume is the actual city. Um. So let's try and tidy this by ramming these positions. Hustling over to the coastline with some crossbows, if we can. Start to sink the incoming units. They won't see that coming. Try and clear a way through there, but I'm unable to. It's all right. We use the trebuchet's immense power. Wow! It rocks, nerd. That is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna auto this now. Have a look and see what we're dealing with. Okay pretty decent. The fact that they are pinned in sort of the northeastern corner of the battlefield, largely stuck in the water. Um, I've got trebuchets back behind my lines, just flinging away about 100 damage every turn. It's a, basically a free unit that they're destroying. <laughs> they're floundering about. This is good. This is good. Very pleased. Understatement of the year. Super pleased. And considering it was a city that I didn't really even know was here. <laughs> That's very neat. Uh, the trebuchets probably should have been deployed right up the front, but all right. Should we send in the guns just to really ram it home? No, actually, I think we'll keep the guns down here to defend. Because rebels are appearing. <laughs> Good move, gunners. Just in the nick of time. Do you want to shoot some horses? I know you do, because they can't get out. I mean, they can't get in. <laughs> Aw. Feels bad. And my anti-cavalry is doing literally what it's designed to do here. Just send in the cleanup crew. Yeesh! These three are absolute fucking badasses. Quite the globe spanning imperialist you've become. Well, well. Another empire has. Ooh, and uh, that city fell as well. So wonder. that's really good. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> bloody Amsterdam. Well, I have my back turned. Ah, here's the knight that was going to take it. I wonder if I have enough war support to take that. If you seek the greater good, then I no, I cannot. Let's have a look. We've got two hundred and two. Um, I'll take this one because it's got the Colossus of Rhodes, and I don't want them to have that benefit of keeping their peasants alive. So that's kind of the big brain take. Um, and then I guess I want Haojing. Oh, but like two war score away. I'll take it. You may now. I'll take it. Um, at least by taking this, I can kind of stretch through and grab this now as well. A nice little bonus. 
<laughs> now it'll be a fight for the islands, which is hopefully where our boats will come in. You can get Top Guppy Palace connected, and we'll get everybody to help you out with that. Seeing as we've just come out the back of a war, now it's kind of as good a time as any. Uh, also, we should probably start thinking about which culture I want to play. Uh, haven't seen too many suggestions come through. My inkling is actually that the Germans could be really fun. Really fun. Hmm. We buff our naval strength even more. Yeah. 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 I think I'll take them. But not yet, because we still sort of have a bit more sciencing to do. <laughs> A science production is good. Even if it's not yours, any human-built wonder is an impressive feat of design but and it's not great. Makes me wish I'd done it. Given As we're building Top Cuppy Palace, I'm saving money. I'm I can sure use that to start to translate a bit of science through for us, I guess. Of geeks. Try and bring some sort of cohesion to the military. Um, let's take you there. Impressive. Let's put you A back wonder here. That makes me want to pull out my toy blocks and go crazy. Just try and position some units everywhere, basically. Get ready to take that island sort of as soon as we can. Within reason. Grab some guns. <laughs> These guys aren't going to know what hit them. And by taking that, they've aggravated me even further. <laughs> So we sweep those islands, we sweep Parsa, we send you hopefully to that one, but we might not get there in time. Especially considering they're just disembarking there. And they've actually got quite a lot of valuable land. Ooh, that has just fallen! Ha ha ha! Ah, goodness will rise to the top, of course. Unfortunately for them. Neat. slowly chugging away on a top cuppy palace that's unlikely to actually be worthwhile but i'm doing it now should we forgive the witch uh let's learn <laughs> learn the way of the witch oh my god get out of the way pop-ups quickly snag that before they get any stupid ideas <laughs> Um, and then show them my guns over this other side so that they don't really get any stupid ideas. Actually, let's just scare them right off. Get out of here. You don't... you don't know me. Perhaps you and then it just leaves Wamps to damn. And pray for guidance. And we'll smash our way toward that too. Let's see. Uh, war support. We could do a surprise war, so... We have options. Go to Nick. Um, we have options. We could punch it. We'll disembark these gunners as well. Keep those ones there. Defend the, defend the motherland. Speaking of, by the way, look at this. We are just the peninsula has. <laughs> has connected to its base now. Now that's a promising improvement. Very good. In the You've got the whole dang the world, world nearly. <laughs> Take these little the islands off here too.
sell those ones up really, really close. <laughs> Get those ones really close there. Uh, these ones into the sea here as well. Just to be safe, we'll send the whole gang. Go on. Long boy and as well. <laughs> yep. Not doing not too bad. Thanks. It's the weekend, after all, Nick. Happy weekend. I'm going to say to those who celebrate, but what I meant to say is to those who get a, a, a weekend. Only the French have been taken. Worries me that there's an AI be lining for a science victory, but <laughs> I have to just hope that that's not true. Kind of grabbing like 20-ish uh, extra science every time. Top Copy Palace is nearly one turn away. I'm wondering if we can squeeze... A little bit of extra industry anywhere. Eh. Eh. <laughs> I've also just noticed that this place is really short on food. Yikes. Hey, it's been done and won. Sweet. Finally, get that out of the road. You are ready to fight. Maybe we just fight. We'll give it one more turn. All right, you. We have Surprise! Time. Bet you didn't see that coming. Oh, no, Top Copy Buck. Renamed any number of times. <laughs> it is a testament to stamina and survivability. Good night, Octopus. <laughs> Thanks so much, Celtic Six. <laughs> have a great weekend. <laughs> Um, and I'll see you on a Sunday stream if you're if you're keen. It'll probably be the next stream. I assume that with Sunday night GMT. Are, Monday for me. Um, they want to immediately take white piece, and I'm like, no, that's just a stupid idea. <laughs> you fool. Cool. Look it. Take it easy. Everything here is pretty good, to be fair. Um, 42 science is quite nice. I'll take that. <laughs> Go, boaty McBoat! Um, housing is fairly full on its jobs, um, but we might just queue up this district. Yes. Neat. Um, you are looking actually very good. I'll probably take a harbour. <laughs> it's always good. Four money out of that one. Five money out of that one. Yeah. Nah. Kind of tucked away up in the middle of the map with not a lot to do up there, to be fair. They've got loads of units coming over this way, but I don't think they're going to get there in time. Uh, they are apparently favoured to win this fight. So what I'm going to do is... Chuck a couple of units up here on dry land and actually take this on and, and just see what kind of damage we can do. I think that my guns will deliver a lot of strength. Top of the board and tear! Every noisy day. Take more territory. Still have to go the Germans. Yeah, actually, I should grab the Germans now, shouldn't I? Six means that I hope expect them to win the best of four series, max seven games, and six. Get their fourth win on game six. I see. <laughs> I see. Far away, Pete. Um, interesting. Thank you for the clarification. I do need it too. Uh, yeah, as expected, this is pretty good. Hogs can't really do much. 
So I don't fear the cogs. I'll use a little bit of extra movement that we can squeeze, maybe, although I didn't actually want to do that for the horse. <laughs> Yikes. But this gunner up here looks pretty good. And then we'll block any coastal tiles. Not that the boats are going to magically turn into units, but, you know. Pow, pow, pow! <laughs> Neat. Very good. Um, a shame that there's a frontline gunner taking some hits, but it's going to deal a lot more damage than it's going to take. Let's race this, um, race this unit around this way. Try and move in on the flank. Also try and take out this incoming melee damage. I do need to try and hold the flag, of course. Um, so we'll bring an extra unit to grab that spot. And that looks pretty good. Pretty good, I would say. As expected, they did snake that flag, but it wasn't quite enough. Very good. <laughs> um, I could probably put that on auto resolve now. The written word was pre, but the written word has just been published, which is neat. Just crossed over uh, eleven thousand fame. It's a very close race, to be fair though, so I'm not going to count any chickens just yet. <laughs> and the rest of these are just boats, so it's kind of game over. Oh, <laughs> a new challenger emerges. We could probably go and meet them with our guns. While also maybe taking a few pot shots at these boats. Yeah. I like this a lot. It's a really fun battle. Head naval bombardment. Yeah, I liked their improvements to naval sieges. They were pretty good, but um, probably probably still a little bit of work to be done there. I agree. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a good naval game too. Not that this is really turned into one. A, a little, a little. I uh, you're kind of stuffed. Although our naval combat strength is super good. Ah, oh, of course, we actually almost benefit from just chucking units out into the sea like you, you saw how much damage <laughs> i mean it was a knight to be fair but that knight dealt a lot of damage considering it is literally a horse in the ocean not bad not bad and very interesting actually just in general to kind of see how that plays out um hey we're two likes away from a hundred wicked Thank you, everybody. Thank you to the uh, actually 80-some people watching right now. Happy weekend to you, if you're watching. Also, if you're not, but you can't hear me, so... What are you going to do? Bounce through the last couple decisions in that turn. Uh, because I'm really keen to jump back into this fight and see what they're going to try and do over here. Ah. I mean, if they. I don't really mind if they land there. Yeah, they're not going to. Which makes sense. Yeah. 
keep chasing after them with this gun. Hey, get back here. Maybe send this knight on a cheeky mission to become a boat with a gun. Uh, and unfortunately... Oh, what a shot. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Neat. And a beautiful shot out to sea there as well. Holy cow. That's the shot of your life right there. <laughs> 101, 102, 103. Nice one. Thank you. Rudolph, did you? Thanks for letting me know. Yes, I am from New Zealand. Uh, hey, but it's 10, 10.30 in the morning now. Damn, this has been a fairly long stream actually, hasn't it? Probably one of the longest ones in ages. What time did we start? Just, it's like late 6 a.m. Yeah, good one. Um, <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Oh, I'm going to auto-wrap that now, I think. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, and with that, I'm just going to quickly go and grab a drink. I'll be right back. Fear of using text. Yeah, yeah, that would be a nice touch, Pete. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're a main monitor. I love it. <laughs> All right, sweep that up, and you're done. Press freedom uh, is from memory a pretty good one. Uh, let's go full if different liberty for cheaper can't civics. Be heard, people might end up believing whatever ridiculous thing the government says. Mood. Um. Uh, <laughs> I still lean toward this. Odd. Let's get good new cities out of Steam Engine. And try and build a couple. Although I'm so over my city cap. Good God. Please. Whew. That is nasty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pe people don't like the break, Ninja. People don't like the break. I think it's a brilliant BRB screen. Um, <laughs> okay, so we didn't quite take Amsterdam. Damn it. But we should have the firepower to just sweep through. It's 
the boat strat, the new meta. It's a it's a very fun strat. It's a very fun strat. And to be fair, this game didn't really even hasn't really even fully tested it. Like <laughs> we didn't go full boat strat. It, it just sort of lucked into it a little bit, really. It's a nice first round. We'll take this place. It's not going to help me much with my city cap dilemma, actually, which can probably be fixed. Oh dear. <laughs> you might have to burn some down. We'll see. It's only really hurting my influence. Um, I think we should probably also bounce through that next era. I feel a little bit capped out. Oh, although we're about to get the expansionist, so actually let's stay and get that. can destroy thank you once we end the war i think i'll move through maybe we still grab the germans i think i still grab the germans it's nearly midnight over the other side of the pond <laughs> yeah yeah uh the the earliest stream start time for me which was 6 a.m is looks out quite good for you over the pond 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 um so hopefully you got to catch a little more if you wanted to cool all right there's amsterdam which i so don't want and we might actually just vassalize them at this point um and then keep them as our friend and toady for the rest of the game Welcome. all right let's wrap this up oh for god's sake wait what just happened no <laughs> oh, they were pieced out by a third party oh are you for real <laughs> that's it That's it. Hmm. No super easy targets for a naval invasion, although Yala is kind of vulnerable. Interesting. None of this is mine now, which is unfortunate. Let's send these units there. And these there hello <laughs> you like boats reroll damn blue <laughs> honestly they've been our greatest friend too uh they're stronger than us so we might just let them do that <laughs> but we'll definitely take them germans Okay, come on. I've moved you five times, please. What is going on? Just heal. Let's just do something. Anything, please. I think they're glitched. I reckon that peace deal might have actually glitched that turn. Because they are not doing nout. Um... Let's bounce back and <laughs> try and just make that not happen. Either by taking it myself or um, by removing myself. I don't really mind, but you're right. It is a true test of friendship.
West Coast of America Dream Time Zone. Yeah. I wish I were based there. Occasionally. It would, would be very handy for this kind of thing. Um. Ooh, that's a weird interaction too, isn't it? What the? Oh, okay. No, they're, they're merged, but I can't see that they're merged. Glitchy. <laughs> oh, no. Um, all right. I'll try one more load. Bounce back to 159. Germans for you, Charles. <laughs> um, <laughs> this better work. I guess I could just delete the units. Uh, it's probably the other thing that I haven't tried. I don't think there's anything else that I haven't tried though. Okay, so the ongoing war can be ended. So tell me, how are you today? Let's just try this move. Just take I what. Just, just end it. Just end it. I'll take back this. They've taken that. It's a, it's a weird trade. I... They definitely ended up with the better one out of those two. But if it means that I can continue the game, I'll do it. If different opinions can't be heard, people might end up believing whatever ridiculous things the government says. Uh oh. Uh oh. It has now stuck on the choosing tech. That concerns me. Um. Hmm. Oh dear. I haven't actually tried just reloading 161 again. Try that one more time. Oh, that would... <laughs> I won't jump to any conclusions. Let's see what happens. Come on, baby. The fact that it's glitching on something other than those units has me a little worried. Try to new tech from the fully open tree. Welcome. Let us speak... Okay, one more bounce back to like 159 again. Try the open tree. If this doesn't work, uh, I'm kind of out of ideas. I'll, I guess I could go back really far and try and salvage it. Um, it'd be a real shame because we've kind of got to the, the real meat of it. Although, not to discount the testing that's already been done. All right, uh, it could be the units that are just stuffing it in general. I might leave press freedom alone too. Could be that. Uh, let's say we're jumping in to take mercantilism. Yes. No. 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 It's just stuck. It is literally just stuck. It doesn't even seem to care which turn I go back to. Jump back to 152. There could have just been a critical error at some point. I, uh, <laughs> hard to say what it would be. But alright, I'll, I'll just jump back as far as I can and see if I can go and speed ahead. It's just out of curiosity to see if it even saves it more than anything. Okay, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Siege tactics. Oh. <laughs> nah. It's busted. It is just busted. Well. Uh, not gonna lie, disappointing. 
uh, I suppose this is what you get for playing a beta live on the internet. Uh, I don't think there's a way to save it. So we'll probably wrap this humankind game here. Thank you very much for tuning in today, Christian. Good night. <laughs> good timing for the Europeans. We did have a good run. Um, I've ended in second, but we're basically first. That's so frustrating. I think we might have been first. Let's have a look, actually. Let's see. What did the game end at? Because it appears that turn 161 is going to be the unfortunate having to end the game a little early and call it a wrap. Yep. Yep, part of the beta testing experience, I suppose. Uh, the good news is, is that this beta uh, is... Well, not the good news. The bad news is it's ending in a couple of days. The good news is that the update is scheduled for later this month. So... Not too much more to muck around with. We ended in... Oh, if I'd known, could have made it. But nope, ended in second. <laughs> it was a really close race between first and second. Um, yeah, I had, a, I had a really... That was a really fun stream, even though it didn't quite get to end. Um, apologies again about that, though. Kind of lame. Kind of lame that the game just gets cut because the save doesn't work. But, like I say, say la vie. Uh, that is the nature of beta testing. <laughs> Thank you to the four people who very generously gave $5 to today's stream. I appreciate you. Some of you, Pete, still hanging about in the chat. Awesome. Uh, we smashed 100 likes, which is really cool too. Uh, I'm going to end the stream here. I don't think there'll be one tomorrow. Um, but it is the weekend, so happy weekend. Uh, long weekend for some as well. Queen's birthday weekend for us. Neat. Uh, I'm going to go and pet a corgi and eat a lamington or something, I guess. And uh, I will see you on Sunday night GMT for sure. Uh, other streams around that I, I can't lock in, but that one I can lock in with like a sort of a 90, 90 to 95% confidence interval. Highly likely. Thank you, Hoff. <laughs> thanks for being here today, representing the mod modding team. Um, and thanks to everybody who tuned in. And I will see you next time. Have a great weekend, team. Bye-bye. Take care.